You stinkers. What the heck's going on? What are you guys doing in here? It's hot out. It's so hot out. It's like hard to breathe it's so hot out. It's disgustingly hot out. South Carolina is too hot. I'm ready for fall time. I'm ready, I'm ready for some cool weather, some pumpkin pies, and some apple cider, and to put on my sweatshirt. Nah, I don't care, but it is hot. It is stinking hot. Yeah, I uh, washed the car today outside. I vacuumed it, and then I washed the outside, and I about passed out from a heat stroke. I probably lost five pounds of water weight just from sweat. It's pretty disgusting. Miss Frosty wasn't too uh, too impressed when I walked in dripping sweat. She just kind of looked like me, looked at me like the, the shower's that direction. You might want to go there ASAP. It was nasty. Uh, what's up, Paul Gaida? Sean Roberts, Brandon Umstead, Miss Firesland, Kevin Wilson, Watchdog 33. We got Chris Vera, Austin Barrett, Joe Boyer, Duan Baker, Joe Coleman. Says, well, ain't we a lovely bunch? That's right, you are. You're quite lovely. Uh, Joshua Haymaker, I hope you're a boxer. If you have the last name Haymaker, you better be into boxing. At least watch it a little bit. Uh, what's up, Bubba G. Shrimp? Matt Lane's in the house. Uh, we got Paul Gaida with the, uh, the, sm- the the waving. Joe Boyer's waving as well. Jim Petty says, what's going on, everyone? Hope everyone's doing good. I'm doing good. Uh, who is this guy? I was watching a frosty replay, and then this guy interrupted me, says Mac Morrison. Which which replay were you watching? Which one were you wa- You were watching Delivery, Inc. You were watching the replay of Delivery, Inc. That's my all-time most popular stream ever, Delivery, Inc. That was action-packed from beginning to end. What's up, Cameron? Thirty-nine, thirty-nine. Ryan loves cake. Says Stormin' in the Upstate. Hey, Frosty, but it has been a while. How's Ryan loves cake? How's uh, how's everything going health-wise? You doing all right, brother? Hopefully, you don't get the. I know. I saw the storms. It is supposed to thunderstorm here. So, as always, a warning if the stream comes to an abrupt end. That's why storms are in the forecast. So, if the stream just goes. Boop, and turns black that means the power went out and i probably won't come back if that happens okay what's up gene edwards uh silver lake or whatever it's called silver lake or whatever it's called oh silver run the platinum map the forestry one ah silver run ah gotcha so we're just mulching a field i think this was a canola field on episode one or two episode two i think we harvested it on friday well now we're mulching it and we'll put lime on it i think i might already put i don't know we're gonna be taking care of some fields it's the uh month of september so we do have a little window to plant some winter wheat, winter barley. Between September and October, we have time to plant that. I might plant one canola field somewhere. Or I might have already done that. I don't know. I can't keep up with everything I'm doing these days. Okay, so I, I did plant wheat on field four already. Um, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's right. I harvested the rest of the potatoes next to the French fry factory. So look at this, our uh, French fry factory. Look at that. It's got 164,000 liters of potatoes. That's going to make all kinds of French fries. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. But the pigs don't have any base food. So their health's not at 100, but that's okay, because I think we have corn ready to harvest the next time we fast forward time and we'll make sure we get them some corn ASAP. I do have some potatoes. I'm going to bring one truckload from that big potato harvest over to our silo and we'll feed the pigs some of it. Other than that, chickens are good. Cows are good. Might give them a little bit of straw tonight. Other than that, animals are looking good for the, uh, the month of September. So just finishing up mulching here. Frosty, I passed a kidney stone today, says Tyler Barnes. Ooh. 
Still watch replays every once in a while, says Ryan. Beautiful tractor. It's very nice. That's Pleasant View. Pleasant View, Rally Vance, Rally Rant, ra River Rally, Rever, something. I forget his name. Pleasant Valley Ranch Dressing. He's a streamer modder. That's his Alice D21. And it is a beautiful specimen of a tractor. It's very lovely. All right. But we're done with that, so. Let's head on over to the house. Actually, we'll be mulching again later. So I'm just going to cut through the woods here. We'll be mulching, uh... Oh, boy. We'll be mulching... A wheat field, I think it is. <coughs> yeah. That field we harvested on Friday, it needs baled. We're going to bale it. We're going to finish baling it uh, real soon here. And then we'll have this guy mulch the field afterwards. Look at my outfit. I got new clothes again. There's so many, like, clothing mods out there now. I got the Alice uh, winter cap. September. Temperature's starting to cool off. Then we got a Duramax diesel uh, sweatshirt. There's so many good clothing third-party mods out there. You just got to look a little, but they're out there. So I got that fall season uh, clothing on. I wish it was fall in real life. Sick of the heat, chat. <laughs> All right, what do we got going on here? We got Bradley Simmons celebrating 15 months. Just hope you're doing good. May not watching long. No power here. I'm I, I'm crossing my fingers that doesn't happen here. But uh, hopefully your power kicks back on soon, buddy. The worst is like food in the fridge. The longer the power is out, the you know, sometimes your food goes bad. So hopefully it pops back on soon for you. All right, we're gonna shut this down for now. Right, and then before we get going with any of this stuff, I do want to uh, get this guy up and running. He's going to plant some winter barley. We do have crop rotation on, which is a mod. So if you look at the bottom right, it'll say crop rotation. Um, last crop we just harvested was canola. And then soybeans and grass were the previous harvest. We're going to put winter barley. It's going to give us 115% crop rotation yield as long as our nitrogen and pH is good. I already put lime down on this field so we don't have to worry about pH levels. Pretty much going to hire a worker. I'll hire someone that's splendid at work. How about Tony Martig? Let's have Tony Martig operate this this machinery, eh? All right, let's see. We're gonna do three headlands, sharp, clockwise. First waypoint. And bada bang, bada boom. All right, Tony Martig's gonna take care of business for us. So this whole field's gonna be perfect nitrogen because we got solid fertilizer in this drill. And then seeds are about 160 seeds per meter squared, which is not too shabby. So we're not using a lot of uh, seed consumption. It's very nice. I think it's going to be a very nice time, yeah. We are going to lose some money because he's refilling seeds and fuel and all that good stuff as he goes. But that's fine. I I'm all right with that. Okay. Been watching for a while now, and I finally get to get in on a live. Love watching you guys. Are a hey, Jim Petty. I'm glad you're here, brother. Uh, how's John McKinley doing? What's up, Mr. McKinley? Uh, we got Elizabeth Steady says map. This is the White Farm, the same one I did Thursday, Friday, and now Monday. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, we got Joe Coleman receiving a gifted membership from Kyle Walters. Come on down. That's one gifted Big Rig Frosty Gaming membership coming from Kyle Walters, and that's going directly to Joe Coleman. I swear it said Joe got one on Friday. I don't know. These gifted subs, sometimes I wonder if these gifted subs are like a hack. Like something's not on your guys' end, on YouTube's end. Like something's off. 
But you know what I'm saying? This doesn't seem right. Alright, so we'll let him go. I think he can handle the rest. Tony, you are just... Look at you go. You're just a drilling son of a gun. Look at him backing up like a professional. Look at him go. Oh my goodness. He needs a raise. So now that we have an actual crop in there, barley, it is going to need sprayed for weeds. Um, other than that, perfect nitrogen, perfect pH, perfect crop rotation. We're going to get a 98% yield out of what would usually be an 89% potential. So we're like getting a very nice base strong there. It's quite lovely, yes. All right, I'm going to grab the rest of those potatoes I harvested from Friday. So I bought a Volvo truck separate. We have a new Mack truck for our grain hauler. This is going to be a potato hauler truck. That'll just be kept here. So we'll fire this up. It's got about 8,900 liters of potatoes left over in it. And we're going to run those over to the house. And it's got a uh, Lockwood potato uh, attachment. A 3X frame extension. That's BC Bueller's uh, Volvo. And it's got a potato. This is a legit potato grain bucket, I guess is what you would call it if you want. But it's a beast. I think it holds 23,000 liters with the wooden sideboards on top. Maybe nice. All right, so we'll head on over to the house. What's up, Waylon Timlick? Mr. Foyslane, he would lock a honker tutor. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this field to the left. This field to the left had potatoes in it. We harvested those Friday. I've already cultivated, limed, planted winter wheat, sprayed for weeds. So that field, I shouldn't have to touch that field again, that little one to the left there. I love this map. I've been playing it off stream and everything. It's fun. Such, such, such a nice map. I really like it. It's very nice. All right, so here we are back at the main farm. We'll be spreading some slurry tonight. Uh, maybe loading up some manure. I don't think we'll be using manure, but we'll be loading it up for sure. Yeah, we'll be covering our uh, grass fields with slurry until we run out of slurry. No, I'm going to dump my potatoes in her. There you go. Easy peasy. So those are in the storage. And here's the Mac I bought for uh, hauling grain. Not too shabby. That's BC Bueller's as well. Very sharp. Very nice. All right, before we drive this back, we'll... Uh, Got a couple small little trailer loads of potatoes to the pigs. They don't need like a bunch. So we'll separate and uh, get a couple loads with this guy. Yeah, hit that like button if you want. Only if you want. Hey, Frosty, how was your weekend? Mine was good. Mine was hot, Brian Pauzinski. Uh, my son had a basketball game Saturday morning, which he did awesome, and they won. Uh, it, was, it was kind of a blowout until the end. The other team came back a little at the end, but they ended up winning by like 10 points. Yeah, my son was on fire. The whole team was on fire. It was just one of those everybody was making their shots type of day. So that, that was fun. That was fun. Today was meet the teacher this morning. So went and saw both of the kids' teachers, got all their supplies uh, you know, set up, put in their locker, everything's ready to go. They start school Wednesday. Uh, let's see. Potatoes. 
And we're only going to give them one trailer full here. 3,000 liters. Pigs only need about 5% of their feed needs to be a root crop. So there's no reason to give them a bunch of potatoes or sugar beets. It's just like a little filler. Think of it as straw is a filler for TMR. You don't put a ton of straw in TMR. Same thing with pigs. You don't want to overfill them with potatoes or, or a sugar beet. Just want to give them a little bit to mix in with the other stuff. There you go. And while that's dumping, I think their straw is already full. Yeah, we topped it off on Friday. Yeah, some nice potatoes, eh? Yeah. Very nice. What's up, Mia Lazzarin? Jesse Lotter's in the house. Hello, Jeremy Bashaw. My family are okay, thanks, Kevin, but my ears are still playing up. Uh-oh, you got earache. Uh-oh, earaches are no fun. Chance Lee says, good evening, Frosty. Hello, Chance Lee. It's barley visible, Joe. You're so funny. CB, I don't see, I don't know if the CB mod was the problem, chat. <laughs> Everything was going great, and then out of nowhere, it did it again. So, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know. It's one of those weird things. I had a couple people comment on the stream afterwards on that night where we had all the issues and a couple people said they got the same issue where they have to just restart the game to get it to work it's like just a, a known bug that a lot of people encounter sadly but it never was a problem it just kind of came out of nowhere that's why i was wondering if it was one of my recent mods but i don't know i don't know mike but luckily, there's not much harvesting going on at all tonight, so we won't have any filling the trailer problems. All right, cool. So the only thing missing for the pigs is base food. They've got everything else. They got protein. They've got root crop. They got grain. Only thing missing is either corn or sorghum, which I have neither of. But even though we added a little root crop, that should make the health go up a little bit to maybe 50%. And then once we get that base food in, then it'll jump up to 100. So, it's just one of them things. This is one of them things, yo. You know what I'm saying? Back around in. Who likes the clothing attire tonight? What do you think? Isn't that cool? What's it say on his uh, sleeve? Duramax 6.6 HD Allison. Duramax Diesel, and then the uh, the uh, Alice Chalmers hoodie, or not hoodie, beanie, winter cap, I guess you could call it. Some people call it a beanie. We might have to go mow Farmer Billy's yard. Just it's just a little, you know. He lets us borrow so much of his equipment. Uh, he has requested we might come over and uh, mow his yard today, front yard, get it looking nice. We'll see if we have time. It's not top of my uh, priority, if you know what I mean. All right, head back to the uh, sugar beet factory or uh, potato factory. I bought this trailer. I bought a Rollin trailer to uh, transfer silage just because we were having all those issues. Base, like little trailers, there's never a problem. It just seems to be with trucks. So, there you go. What's up, Tony Knight? Just like potatoes, raging skull. What's going on, daddy? I am got fans on to keep me cool. Whew, it's so hot, isn't it? I miss watching you. Been at this academy. Have had no time. It's all good, baby. How's the uh, academy going? You'll have to remind me. Is that like police academy or a different type of academy? I, I love fresh planted fields. How many people in the chat like like what's your that's what's your favorite texture in the game? 
Do you like it when something's freshly planted, like that field there? Or do you like seeing the stubble, like that field out in the distance, like after you've harvested? Or do you like, uh, like the mid-growth stage? Or do you like that full harvest look? All right, we weren't supposed to turn in here. Went the wrong way. Well, actually, we cut through here. A little shortcut. So this was the big potato field. I knocked that out myself when I was trying to figure out what the problem was and I thought I figured it out. Because I, I unloaded the truck multiple times with that potato harvester there. Zero issues. And then I booted up yesterday to do some other stuff. And then it wouldn't unload for something other chore. But look at all those french fries, chat. We're going to be rich on french fries. Isn't it beautiful? So nice, so nice. That is a lot of french fries. This uh, factory is... This factory is booming right now. go but all kinds of french fries and we do own a big rig with the flatbed but uh we keep it parked up at the gas station in town because i just don't have room to park it around here so there's like a i got a permanent parking spot i pay monthly to you know, you know how it goes you know i just don't want to run into it on the farm so i park it on the other side of town so uh, maybe we'll grab some french fries later. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. All right. Now, Mr. Martig is still... Man, look at him go. He's already doing his back and forth uh, passes. Guy's on fire. We're going to start bailing. I got to get all this straw picked up. And we're going to store all this straw in Farmer Billy's storage because he's a nice guy. You know what I mean? Thanks to Frosty, spent about 12 hours on this map this weekend. I think Mac Morrison is maybe the only one that has you beat. He said he was on it for 12 hours just for one day and probably more today. <laughs> they need to give us better looking grass for yards. They do. Uh, state troopers, and it's been going, I suppose. It's been going. All right, state troopers. Well, good luck on the academy. I hope it, uh, I hope you learn a lot. And not to be silly, but really try to learn the laws. Whatever state you're planning on working in. Try to learn about all the laws. Your, your rights, and of course, civilian rights. Try to really focus in on that so you don't become one of those uh, those big videos that we all see pop up all the time. <laughs> you know what I mean. What's up, Fozzie Gaming? Uh, how's it going, brother? Uh, Deep Creek says, looks so divine, Frosty. It looks divine. Joe Coleman likes a freshly plowed is the bestest. Freshly plowed. I do like the fresh plowed look. It does look good. I'd have to agree. Freshly plowed is one of my favorites. All right, like I got another bale laying down here. These bales with that John Deere baler, 11,000 liters per bale. So pretty much every pass, every, every lap down a line makes about one good size bale, which is awesome. So we'll probably have close to 100,000 liters of uh, straw for storage. Right. I go to meet the teachers tomorrow and got school on Thursday. Ah, so one day after my kids. Nice. Plowed and after rock picking up is all oh, you like that look after the uh, the rock picker kind of cultivates it as it's kind of shaves the field, gives it a nice clean scraped look. One of my favorite textures is canola stubble. 
I don't know why. It just looks so good. That's what we were uh, mulching at the very beginning of the show. Canola stubble. I love the way it looks. It's so nice. Shove that in there. Should be able to fit four four bales on this trailer. Alright. I'll have to get this thing all folded up. Look at the detail on this baler. I had a little clog over the weekend, so I had to replace one of the uh, belts and chains and, uh, you know, put some new new a wrap in there even though I don't wrap any of the bales but you know it's just cool to have it's nice all right let's get to work mm-hmm mm-hmm get her done What do you think of that little combo, huh? Little John Deere combo. Scooter's workbench would be very happy with this combo. He's a huge John Deere fan. He would definitely approve. Hello, Frosty from Australia. Hello, Mr. Wright. We got Dwayne Baker also coming in with the gifted membership. And that is going to Joe Boyer. Seriously. Why, why, does, why do I feel like those same names received one on Friday. Am I am I losing my mind? Don't answer that. But seriously. Does it not feel like we see the same names pop up like the very next day on a gifted sub? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. I, I swear. I'm just I'm so confused. I don't understand. I don't know. But yeah, you can see this thing packs a pretty large bale. Just about full here. Just started beeping just now. And that'll be by a full bale right there. Look at the size of that bale, boy. Not bad, not bad. That's 11,000 liters of straw. First time watching, love it so far, says the fam golf. Well, thank you, sir. And anybody else new here, hit subscribe. I stream about five days a week, Monday through Friday, around 8, 8.30 p.m. Eastern. And sometimes I'll even do some weekend stuff. Just kind of depends what all's going on and if I got the energy and the voice to uh, perform. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yes. Glad to have anybody new that's here, along with all the OGs, as I guess some of you would think you are. Yeah, if you've been here at least a month, you're an OG, right? <laughs> We're all going a little crazy. We all are, Travis. Got that right. We all got a little bit of crazy in us. I'm going to switch over. I'm going to run over. I'm going to go, like, in a big circle. Bing, bing. What's up, Simulation Station? This is Hello from Down Under. You're not Down Under. You're above me. All right, here's another one getting ready to pop out. I think the next, that soybean is ready to harvest the next month. It's in the final stage. Come on. There she goes. There she goes. Oh, yeah. 11,000. Yeah, I think this is, yep, six of six forage. So it'll be ready to harvest <clears throat> uh, October next month. We're going to get 118% yield out of 125, and we didn't plant that, so that's amazing. That's good. There's not a weed in there. Some fresh soybean right there. 
Let's get back at it. That's what the uh, Youpers call the Lower Peninsula of Michigan. Ah, okay, you're down under in Michigan. <laughs> hey, Frosty, how are you, and do you know if there's an auto loader flatbed for logs for console? For console? Not that I'm aware of. I kind of I kind of jumped off the console wagon. I used to keep up on it to help people, but I just got too bored of it because I'm, I'm not a console guy, <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe someone in the chat has an answer for you. But as far as I know, the answer is no. But that doesn't mean I'm right. I just, I don't, yeah, I don't keep up with uh, console stuff anymore. I apologize, sir. I have returned. It is Pleasant View Farms, and he has returned. You missed it again, Pleasant View. Beginning of the stream. I had the D21 over there mulching. And what the heck is, uh... Is Tony rolling out there? Where's Tony? Why is he just sitting over there? Tony! Would you quit on me or something? What's up with that? I didn't hire you to quit on me. Ran out of fertilizer, you turd ball. Oh my goodness. Ooh, he's burning through that fertilizer. Alright, so Tony ran out of fertilizer. And that means. Yeah. That means we need to take care of that. Good job, Tony. Good job, Tony. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we're going to buy. Let's buy. Let's buy four bags. All right, we'll load this up <clears throat> as fast as we can, I guess. All right. Tony, what'd you say? What'd Tony say? Okay. How are you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I watched, a, I watched a bit of another streamer stream. It was a 1980s map with mostly 80s equipment. I prefer your streams. Well, don't say his name, because that's rude. I appreciate you not saying his name. Because that's... Yeah, I don't like it when people bash other streamers. Unless they deserve it. <laughs> but yeah. <clears throat> I know uh, Sim Station has done some 80s stuff. And I, I like the way he, he does... the He does... Well, used to do, like, the time lapse... I think he, I th he kind of went back or went towards uh, more uh, talking videos. But when I first started watching Sim Station, it was mainly, from what I saw, it was main, <clears throat> excuse me, mainly like time lapse stuff. But it seems as if he prefers more to uh, give a little commentary these days. Can I get two at the same time? Oh yeah, this forklift's strong. The old Lindenator. There we go. Alright. One more. You're on strike. Uh, probably was watching my streams. Your streams are very nice and relaxing. What is yours an 80s one now? 
Well, I know the map you guys have been on forever has, has had that 80s vibe to begin with. We'll leave the forklift out in the yard because who knows, we might need more fertilizer. But I think that's going to be enough. All right, let's roll. I'm on my way, Tony. Got 4,000 liters of solid fertilizer. That ought to get the job done, right? First time using the flatbed on this truck. It's nice. It's a nice little uh, farm runner truck for little situations like this. Nothing a little GMC can't do, right? <laughs> working just fine so what did you think of my planter setup oh with the three uh john deere ones very nice i've done that before i forget what map i think i did that on ashton corners i had all three set up what's up glengar boy we got glengar in the house strong like an ox sure is a lot easier to edit oh what do you say sure a lot easier to edit when you don't have to type a whole book with it yeah that's one thing like i love i love time lapses but what you just said there you have to it takes longer to edit because you gotta go th you have to watch it to be able to add the, yeah i know what you mean <laughs> i feel you bruh i feel you bruh all right we should be able to just steal it right from the side of the truck here nice and we'll continue all right tony got fired and we hired elizabeth sturdy because she doesn't quit just because uh you run out of fertilizer elizabeth's gonna finish the job i think we'll see so tony good job but you're fired all right refilled i hope hopefully she don't run out of seeds she was at 40 something percent on seeds but shut this down for now all right and we'll head over here and get back to bailing multitasking Uh, what's the crack, laddie? The crack is going well, laddie. The question is, how are you, laddie? Pity you can't use the CB between uh, you and... T t well, I could. I don't think the CB radio is what was my issue. I should reactivate it. I probably will, because I loved it. That's pretty cool. But I think I uninstalled it completely, so I'll have to go re-download it, add it, and I can't... I'm not going to do that while I'm streaming. But, uh, yeah, I think the CB radio will be making a return... Because it ends up, I don't think that had anything to do with the issue I thought I had. I thought that was the, the problem, but it wasn't. <laughs> hey, I never get fired. I blame the boss for not giving me enough fertilizer. I blame you for not waiting for me to refill it. Uh, Travis says, what's with all the weeds in that field? Uh, time went by. I skipped another month, so weeds started growing out of the ground. This was a harvested field two months ago in game months <laughs> so yeah I, I like to play this game with weeds on uh oh adds a little more realism yeah the harvest has been done I didn't pick up the straw the first month of harvest <clears throat> so I let the straw just sit on the ground until September so it's still ready to pick up but the field grew grew some weeds in the meantime. Ooh, this would be nice. One right next to the other. Well. Hey, Frosty. I'll be 34 next month. Jeez! You old fart. 
Uh, I've heard the CB radio mod causes a lot. I think it does. I have used that before. I forget if it was on FS19 or when it first released. I remember I used it and I had other issues. So maybe I won't use it again. It's so hard to know what causes what anymore because I'm a mod hoarder. I got so many mods. It's, it's hard to calculate what causes issues to what. That's why I always stress to everyone that's in to get, like, starting to use mods, read the description, which I do, but I also have the memory of a, a Tic Tac, so it's hard for me to remember what I read about the mod. But anyways, descriptions can explain a lot. Definitely worth taking the time to read before you download. It's just my opinion. All good, buddy. Got the week off, so plowing ahead with version 2 of Bottle Spring. Is version 2 going to require a fresh game save? Because oh. if it does, I ain't touching it. I'm going to stick to version 1. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll stick to version 1. I haven't had any issues with version 1 of uh, Valley Spring. You're probably just adding more, to, like, more stuff to it, which is always a good thing. <clears throat> Chris Nelson's going to be 51 on Wednesday. Holy crap, that is old. That's, whew. Nice. I'd say congrats, but I'll say sorry <laughs> instead. I'm kidding, Chris. It's okay to be an old fart. All right, so Elizabeth, I can see her out in the distance. She's still uh, drilling the uh, barley. So everything seems to be good there. We only got a couple strips left of this. Can't remember if this was a barley or a wheat field. I think it was wheat. Yeah, this is a wheat field. <clears throat> so I might put some canola in this field. Because canola is a good cash crop worth a good chunk of money and it's one of three crops we can even plant in the month of September on this map and I've already done wheat and barley so maybe we'll uh, throw some canola on here once we get it all flipped over and finished hello Carson McPherson just heard some thunder out the window just a warning chat like I said the stream comes to an abrupt end it's due to weather there are storms brewing in the area so we'll see what happens <clears throat> expanding the map to use the full two time area and a few other bits and pieces nice. so it will require a new game save 10-4 10-4 uh, don't let us down Elizabeth she won't let us down she's not a slacker Tony She's not going to run away just because there's ran out of fertilizer. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Mike Gollumendinger. He's 56. Holy crap. My two CT scans came back. I have no cancer, says Chris Nelson. Yeah, baby. <laughs> ah, very nice. Very good news, Chris. Good stuff, man. Very, very good. Stress for you should be lifted. And uh, hopefully you're feeling pretty blessed to uh, have a good report like that. That's awesome, buddy. Uh, that'd be great. Expanded Glengar boy. Love that. Yeah, Valley Springs a good one, chat. It's on the Mod Hub. It's a good one. I keep saying I'm going to go back to it, and I will. I just, I have, I have a problem with this map. I'm addicted to it. I really like it. I really like this map. It's really nice. It's okay, Frosty. I'll just work on Deep Creek's farm. <sighs> Did you show Pleasant Valley Ranch your beanie? Oh, Pleasant Valley. You still here? Pleasant Valley Ranch dressing. Are you in the house? I need a copy. Say something. Say something, say something. Look at my hat. You gotta look at my hat, Pleasant View. 
Where the heck are you? Say something. I put that hat on for you. You better say something. There ain't no way you went to bed already. Don't be slacking. I have an Alice Chalmers beanie. I like that. He's gonna be jealous. If he, if he ends up saying something in the chat, I'm going to show him all kinds of other stuff to make him real jealous. But first, we've got Curtis Goosen. Curtis Goosen coming in with a $100 scruples. Says, love the content, Frosty, and look forward to the stream every night. That is Curtis Goosen. You silly man. Dropping a massive $100. Dollar super chat. Holy crack a moly. Uh, thank you so much, Curtis, for the massive, massive bomb that you just threw to show support to the show. But this is a big one, laddie. This is very big. And I do appreciate it. Thank you very much, Curtis. Kevin slacking again. Where's Kevin? Is he here? I haven't seen Kevin yet. Uh, went and saw Stain and Godsmack last night. Ooh, I'm kind of, I'm a little jealous. I like both of them. I, I, I was a huge Stain fan. Aaron Lewis, growing up, I've, I had all his CDs, because back then you'd, you'd listen to CDs. I had them all. All his albums. I used to know almost all the lyrics to all his songs. I, I love Stain. Uh, Godsmack, I don't know much of their stuff. The ones that were like mainstream, I liked. You know, they had, they were good. But I don't, I don't, I wouldn't know as much of their stuff. That's that sounds like fun, brother. Sounds like a good time, eh? I think you're quite lucky. How does he sound? He's getting kind of old. Is he still put on a decent show? Kevin quit slacking. Gosh, where's Kevin? Oh, there he is. He says, "I'm right here" in all caps. Nice. You don't have to yell at us. Jeez. All right, so Balin's done. I'm afraid to get this guy started. Actually, we could get this guy started. I just got to be fast. I got to multitask. All right. Stinking pleasant view. He already left, chat. I don't get to show him all my surprises. I'm using his tractor again, too. Maybe that'll bring him back. Uh, thank you again, Curtis. I can't tell you how much I appreciate the support. Thank you very much, brother. And I accidentally made myself disappear. I'm sorry. Aaron singing, What Hurts the Most is Amazing. What hurts the most? All right. <coughs> this bit. He's got that scratchy gravel voice. He's good. All right. Three headlands. I like doing three headlands. I don't know why. I just do. Very nice. It's going to be very nice, right there, yes. Three headlands, sharp, clockwise, generate. I already did generate, yeah. I'm going to start at the first point. And rock and roll. Who's that fancy man? That kind of looks like, uh, that kind of looks like quadruple A. I think that's quadruple A right there. All right, we got to be quick. We got to be quick. I gotta get this guy out of the way so it doesn't get ran over. Oh crap, I gotta get a lot of things out of the way. I got... Oh crap, here comes the D21. We're gonna put this like in the middle of the field. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, just in time. So here's my plan. <laughs> I'm going to get these bales. I mean, the ones in the middle, we have time. Look at him go. What a champion. What's up, WD-40? James Keener, hello. Haven't made a cigarette for two weeks now, and I feel much better. I've been walking farther and farther each day. Good, Chris. Get rid of them cigarettes. That ain't good for nobody. Are you doing American Trucking tomorrow night? Yes, I am. How'd you know? 
Are you a mind reader? I am doing that tomorrow. I'm serious. I am. Uh, I've seen Aaron Lewis twice. Had tickets to Bad Wolves. Stained. Disturbed. Concert was canceled due to COVID. Ugh. Of course. John Deere says, Frosty, we love you, but MRG needs some viewers. I don't do that, John Deere. I love MRG, but I don't, I don't self-promote people, especially in someone else's live stream. This is my livelihood, brother. So I, yeah, I don't really care for that. But I do love MRG. Nothing bad to say about him at all. He's a good dude. But yeah. Don't, don't appreciate that during my live stream. Uh, let's see. Let's shove this over here. Uh, Disturbed is great. I do like Disturbed. Uh, the Sound of Silence. The uh, the cover they did for that. Oh, the Sound of Silence. As I hum, 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 hum. And narrow streets of cobblestone. Man. Whew. I just gave everybody goosebumps, didn't I? The sound of silence. Mr. Beetlebats, how's it going in Australia, laddie? How's the temperature down south for the Australians? Paul Wright. Mr. Beetle Betts, uh, Mr. Carpenter. I know we got uh, quite a few Australians. What's the uh, temperatures like this time of year in Australia? I need to just get like on my weather app. I need to put little sections for all the different areas where people watch from, like Europe, Australia, Canada. And that way I can keep an eye on everybody's weather report. Ooh, I got to move all this stuff too. Yeah, we got to get all this stuff out of the way. Jeez. So many, so much Alice equipment laying around. Don't you love it? Don't you love seeing all the orange on the farm? Mm. So this was already mulched. I'm not afraid to leave that there. Do -do. Oh, there he comes, there he comes, get out of the way. Then we'll be throwing some lime on this after the mulching is done. Alright, got a party going on. Rabbit Rob says I watched from my house. Very nice. James says, I missed the fair on Thursday. Get to watch you play. And that was my birthday, too. Oh, very lovely. All kinds of birthdays going on. The only birthday left in my family is my son's. Uh, August. Towards the end of August, he'll be 14 years old. Kids growing up like a, like a weed between thorns. Or no, a rose. A beautiful rose. Sturdy and handsome. Yeah, I didn't mean to call him a weed. That wasn't very nice. But yeah, he's he's growing up, man. He's getting stocky too. Like he's he's been going to the gym. Him and his buddy have been working out at the YMCA, lifting weights. So yeah, he's he's getting serious. He's he's ready for basketball. And he's probably gonna try to take it to the next level this this season. So it's cool to see. All right, we're going to run these over to storage. I'm not going to try to shove another bale on there. I think uh, four is enough. We're not going far, just across the street. Are you serious? How's, how's that in the way? Oh, my goodness. Are you serious? That is so not in your way, sir. Ace, how wide do you need to take the turn? Let's make sure he's okay before we uh, continue. Oh, he had to catch this little corner. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yep, 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 yep. Nice, nice. Okay, he's good. 
All right, let's hurry up and get back. Ooh, you can put straps on. I didn't know you could strap these down. Look at that. It's cool. I got some today, Kevin, my cowboy stuff. My birthday just passed on the 4th. Eh. December to February is summer. March to May is autumn. I don't need a whole sermon. I just want to know how the weather is. How is it in Australia? <laughs> it's winter and it's very cold. Winter's coming to an end. Oh, dang. So it's winter in Australia. Not crazy. It's like 100 degrees here, but it's winter there. It's pretty, pretty amazing. Earth. Earth is quite an amazing piece of land, isn't it? Uh-oh. Elizabeth. Elizabeth, did you quit on me? That tractor doesn't look like it's moving out there. I forget which way this dumps. Dang it. I forget which way this dumps. Lower trailer. Okay, that way. Straps off. Should be able to just plop them right in there. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that. It just stored them right in there. So that's Farmer Billy's uh, storage. He lets me borrow his harvester and any other equipment that I need. And uh, in return, I, I give him some straw bales. Man, I don't know what to uh We'll hold off on the uh, planting. But Elizabeth, you're fired, just so you know. All right, so uh, Tony got fired. Elizabeth got fired. And now I got to uh, make sure we get these bales off the field. That's priority one, so the mulcher doesn't get obstructed. Uh, Liz quit just like the Dallas O-line. Hey, that's a good one. I like that. I like that. MRG is getting on John Deere for coming over here and saying that. Eh, it's all right. I know MRG wouldn't do that. He's he's not the type that would do that. But I love MRG. But if you don't know who MRG is, he's the amazing guy who makes Ashton Corners. Uh, crap. What's that? What's that little 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 vat little spring? What the crap's that one I love, guys? Dang it! It's his most recent one he released. I just can't remember the actual name, but I love it. I've streamed it a couple times. It's, uh... What the heck's the name of that? Little... Little... It's the Utah one. I just can't remember what it's called. I need to I need to stream that one again. Woo! Did you see that mulcher? Just, it just had a hiccup. Things getting some aerodynamic uh, action in there. Watch watch the mulcher. Oh! <laughs> Jeez. Who did I put on the mulcher? Holy crap. What are you doing? What you doing there? Little village? Little teapot now? None of the above. What's it called? I know Mac Morrison knows because he uses that map. Or he did. I'm a glad winter is coming to an end. I want the warm weather. I'll trade you, Beetle Bets. I'm melting. It's way too hot here in Carolina. You can have the heat and I'll take your chili. All right. Love this little trailer, too. Jab it. Let's get this one down here that's close to the edge. This mulcher will be coming down that way. Looks like... Oh, yeah, quadruple A. Will you take it easy on the mulcher? Hit a rock. You think that was a rock? It's something. There we go. <clears throat> Little Mountain, Utah. That's the name of it. I remembered. Little Mountain, Utah. 
and he's working on he's working working on multiple projects right now. He's revamping some uh, older stuff and working on new stuff. But anytime he releases something, definitely gonna check it out. Can I get one more on there? I, nah, five's pushing it. I think we need to get that one way down at the end out of the way. Looks like one more load of uh, bales and we'll have them all cleaned up. It's 11 Celsius, 51 Fahrenheit. That's not bad. 51 degrees. I, I love that type of weather, actually. I love that weather. Nice and breezy. You don't sweat as much. Ah. <sighs> Good thing about sweat, though, is you feel like you did something. No matter why you're sweating, you just feel like you 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 did something worth doing. If you're sweating, man, how about that D21, man? I'm I'll never get sick of that tractor right there. That is a beautiful shot right there. Look at this. That's a pretty uh, screenshot. Get a nice shot right about there. That's pretty. Every noise. Is that the only bale down there? Yep. I'm just going to go ahead and put all the bales left, which is only this one and that one. Shove them right here off to the side. come back for those in a little bit. Strap her down and get rolling. Now that we got those uh, bales out of the way, we can uh, find someone new to finish this field over here. <laughs> Miss Frosty. At least you have AC in here. I'm out there working in the field, sweating my you know what off, and you're sitting in here reading a book or whatever you do, and I don't know. Alright, let's get him filled up. Oh crap, we're out of seed. Dang it, Bobby! <clears throat> Man out of seed too. Oh, I got seeds at home. Never mind. I got a crap load of bags at the house. Forgot all about that. Alright, let's go grab some seed. So she ran out of seed and was low on fertilizer, but she stopped because there was no more seed left. So we'll go take care of that real quick. I will do the job doing, will you? Well, you know you will because there's only like two swipes left. <laughs> Simulation Farms is the interactive on the truck. Yes, it's built into the truck. Like some mods have interactive built into it. This one has it built in, so yeah. Yes, sir, Ray Bobby. Wouldn't it be nice if everything had built-in interactive controls that'd be sweet definitely uh makes the game that much more enjoyable being able to interact with the doors and turn the lights and engine on and i like it anyway i think it's i think it's nice all right let's get some seed thrown on here
Throw two bags on. Put them right on the uh, front. Smarter to put them up front here. Go. Boom. And there you go. I shouldn't need, well, actually, well, we probably are gonna need this again because we're also gonna be doing a canola field. And we'll probably run out of stuff. <laughs> All strapped down and good to go, daddy. Get her done. It's very nice, like you said. Wish more had it. It is nice. Yeah, it's hard to find a lot of stuff that uses it, but it's good. I know Pleasant View, his uh, harvester does it, and so does his 7000 series tractor. You can take the side panels off, to open the doors. <clears throat> and the uh, JCL. Yeah, JCL made the International, correct, chat? JCL made that old international. That one has all kinds of interactive controls. Super cool. I'll de-lock that. What's up, John Giblin? I'm doing well, laddie. We're just, uh... I keep hiring people, and I have to keep firing them because they just quit on me. All because they're running out of pro they're running out of seeds and fertilizer, so they just quit. So I gotta keep hiring someone else. But yeah, we'll We'll let Dew and Baker finish this field. He should be fine. All right, so now we're gonna add seed, which you can see is empty. There's nothing in there at all. So we'll get it filled. And there you go. Very nice. Perfect. Back her up a little bit, and we'll hire Duan to continue. What's up, Mr. Detweiler? How goes it, mate? All right, if Duan doesn't finish this, that'll be three people I've fired on one field. Does that mean we need to upgrade the, uh, the uh, drill? It's not holding enough, is it? <laughs> nah, it's, it's fun reloading it all right mulcher he's back at it he's going back and forth now so he's doing excellent he got his headlands done so he'll be done mulching in no time looking very nice and we'll head over put these in storage Three is the charm. <clears throat> yeah, JHHG. All oh, the theirs have it too. Yeah, I've got all their stuff downloaded. That I, I don't know if I've ever tried interactive control with the, their stuff. I'll have to check that out. That's cool. I noticed on Palawa, the little Polish map series I've, I have, a lot of the little tractors I use on that have interactive controls you can take like the hoods apart and open windows and doors pretty cool all right straps off and dump them that's forty-four thousand liters of straw there that we just dumped so eighty-eight thousand liters already in storage and we still got three bales to pick up See, shall we? My new PC is going good. Been f Wait, I just read two different at the same time. My new PC is going great, but I'm changing my monitor to a curved one. <laughs> it's going good. Been fishing a lot on Lake Erie, which is why I've been MIA. Nothing wrong with that. My son's been fishing like crazy. 
That boy is a fishing maniac every single day. Sometimes he'll be out five, six hours straight. He'll just come back to eat dinner and that's it. All right, I made a wrong turn. Yeah, he's been a fishing fool. He loves it. Once the weather cools down a little bit, I'll go with him more. I can't sit in that stifling heat. Like, it's just nasty. Like, sweat, sweat, and bugs sticking to you. So, bleh. So I told him once the weather drops a little bit, well, I'll go with him a lot more. Are you sure them workers aren't quitting because you can't drive fast enough to refill the cedar? You better watch your mouth, Joshua. Smack your nipples off, boy. Uh, Frosty, did you ever check out what the warehouse? I, I have it downloaded. I haven't checked it out. Quadruple A. It looks cool. The screenshots look very, very good. So... You know what? Let's park over here. Yeah, that warehouse looks very nice. I just, with me doing like the small scale farms all the time, I don't, I don't see what a warehouse is gonna do me, you know, justice. I, I doubt I'll really use it much. But it looks good. Smack these on here real quick. Go. Look at him. Look at him rolling. What up? Look at him go. Goodness. Looks so good. Yeah, I think we only had three. Oop. Come to Palestine, then I'll take you on your son out. I've, I've been there. I don't want to catch any of that fish. <laughs> I don't want any of that fish there. Yeah, I haven't heard much about that lately. Things must be a little, little better than they were. I don't know. That's right. Catching them walleyes and my son? No, he catches bass. Lots of bass, alligator gars, and uh, bow fins. That's that's what's hot in our neighborhood. And then he, that's yeah. He wants to catch catch catfish, but I don't know if there even is any in in the lakes, the ponds he's fishing in. I don't even know if there is any. Strap down, another 33,000 liters come out. And that is all the bales. So 44, 88, 98, 108, 118, 121,000 liters of straw out of this field. Oh my god. It's really nice. So this is like my re reserve straw. I only use this if it's dire need. We still got all those little uh, those little baby bales we made on th Thursday or Friday. That looks like Duan finished his chores. Went in the wrong way. There we go. Ah, very nice. Nice chunk of storage there.
Look at that fresh field of winter barley. Oh, it looks so nice. Man, that looks good. Tell me that looks good. Mm. Mm. Oh. Oh. Mm. But a nice. Get a little convoy going here. Got to clean up our messes as we go. All right. I'm gonna try to cut right across traffic here. And bring it on home, baby. I'm kind of, I don't know what I'm doing with this big field. I might leave that go for a little while until uh, something like sorghum can be put in there. That'd be a nice big field of sorghum for our pigs. Because that's a nice base food. But we'll see. We'll see. It's kind of on hold at the moment. Have a good one, John Williams. Hello, good night, and goodbye. Yes, I do have crop destruction on it, yes, sir. I just did the most satisfying string change on my acoustic ever. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. Be right back. Need to get some ice. We are in a hotel away on business. Be back in a bit, all right? All right, go get some ice. The alligator gar are a pain in the butt. They're hard to get off the hook. Usually have to end up just cutting the line and... Yeah, they're nasty. They are nasty specimens of fish. They shouldn't even be called a fish. They should be called, like, a monster. These things are nasty looking. All right. Got everything uh, back at the farm, ready to clean up. Bailing procedures are finished. No, I'd take you on your son to Lake Erie. Oh, yeah, I've been to Lake Erie. I have been to Lake Erie, and he would love going to Lake Erie. Yeah, Lake Erie. Well, Lake Erie is... <laughs> so what do you want? You, you want uh, contaminated water in Palestine, or do you want contaminated water in Lake Erie? That's where they dump all the needles from the hospital. <laughs> so either way, you're getting contaminated fish, whatever you catch in either of those two places. Oh, boy. Yeah, Lake Erie's got some some not-so-fresh lake water. Let's just put it that way. You know what I mean? Uh, let's see. We have Kevin Flores coming in with the $10 Super Chat. Says, did you know that in all of the state of Texas, only one lake is not man-made? And Canada has more freshwater lakes than all the countries in the world combined. The more you know. I didn't know that. I didn't even know Texas had lakes. I thought it was this big old boring desert. Nah, I've driven through Texas. Man, was that boring. Seriously. You gotta have something good on the radio when you drive through Texas. Whew. Uh, thank you so much for the $10 Super Chat, Daddy. I do appreciate you. Thank you, Kevin. All right. Get all this other stuff cleaned up. So this is a multitask front loader. I use it for what we just used it for. And then it's also, excuse me, it's also how we uh, load up manure. So I just kind of drop my spike here. I know I won't be bailing for a while. But uh, manure will be accumulating over the next uh, few winter months. And we'll be using this little guy to load up the uh, manure spreader. 
So there we go. <clears throat> and this guy just kind of, he just kind of goes right there. My work, my workhorse tractor. All right. We need to get back to that field with the mulcher. He's probably done mulching. Yep, mulching's all done. Beautiful. Very nice. I switched out my secondary acoustic to Nashville tuning. The EADG strings are an octave up, so it sounds like a 12 string now. <laughs> Very nice. Rossi, did you ever figure out how to water your horses? No, I kind of gave up on them horses. I have a friend that went tuna fishing talk about, wait, I have a friend that went tuna fishing talk about a pain in the butt to tire it out. <laughs> yeah. You gotta, you gotta give it a tranquilizer. Tire it out a little bit, you know what I'm saying? What's up, Matthew Viao? You said that dump what, hmm? Industrial pooper scooper, industrial pooper scooper. Mr. Lewis, I see your little purple hearts. How are you, Daddy? How you doing, brother? All right, so next up for this is pH. We're just gonna squirt a little pH on there. Ain't gonna hurt nobody. Now uh, that'll get the uh, the levels up to 100 percent. Let's make sure this is unfolded. All right, good to go. Bottom left screen, precision farming. You'll see that light green turn into a dark, delicious pH green. Mm. Almost like the color of Gumby. I'm just gonna rock and roll. Uh, I think Ice Dragon. Is Ice Dragon watching? You watching there, buddy? Ice Dragon, are you in the house? Ice Dragon was asking where to get this specific tractor I'm using. I believe it's right off the mod hub. I, th I think. So. I don't know. It's pretty sexy, though, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks, Nash. But yeah, I, th I think it's right off the mod hub. I like the jams. I think it's 90s rock tonight is what's on the station. 90s rock. Crop destruction on? Yes. Crop destruction's on. How about straight line mods? Well, sometimes. I haven't been using them tonight. Well, I've been using course play. <clears throat> yes, I'm here. Did you ever find that tractor, Ice Dragon? Did you find this one? Like I said, I, I believe it's from the mod hub. 83, 85, 30 tuned or something, I, I think. Yeah. Ain't that right, Miss Frosty? It's on the mod hub. I think. I don't know who it's made by, but I like it. Sounds good. Looks good. Doesn't look as good as you do, but it looks good. Not bad. I'm here. There you are. Good. I noticed the water trigger is missing for horses, says Mac Morrison. Someone said they they were able to use it. I think they're just showing off. I don't think they really found it. <laughs> no, they did say they, they were it worked for them. But they were on console, you know? Maybe it works on console, but it doesn't on PC. I don't know. It's a mystery. I don't say it now.
All right, Ice Dragon. Well, that's probably where it's at, if you haven't checked, you jack whacker. Uh, who else we got up in here? The lakes are filled with Dallas Cowboys tears. Every loss and disappointment. That thing's deep. Very deep. Uh, what mods adds the passengers, big rig crouch to Gaiman? I think it's called Passenger Extension Kubota. Something like that. Kubota, yeah. I don't have my phone on me. It's plugged in. Or I'd look for you, but it's, I think, yeah, someone help me out. I think it's, let's take a time out for a second. So if I go into my settings, it's not going to show up here, but I, I can at least show you where it's at. I think it's in regular game settings once you activate it. Uh, passenger extension. I think that's the name of the mod, Glengar. Passenger extension. And then you just put you put it on. If you don't have this on, they're not going to show up. And there's all kinds of different characters. So I can change it to this one. Now I got Pedro from Napoleon Dynamite sitting next to me. Uh, uh, I don't... Some lady with a fishing hat. Some guy with a Kubota shirt. Uh, some lady. Hopefully she doesn't sweat with that shirt on. Uh, and yeah, the list goes on and on. You got 12 different characters. There you go. Yeah, extension. You're welcome. <clears throat> And I can't remember, is that on the Mod Hub chat? I think it's on the Mod Hub. Pretty sure you can snag it right from that Mod Hub, Rob Dar. All right, look at that. Perfect pH levels now. Very nice. 6.5. Increase pH to optimal value by Sandy Loam. So that's looking pretty. And this is the field that we are going to direct drill canola in. So I'm going to bring that uh, drill that's over at the other field, and we'll get someone fired up on that. Move him over so he's out of the way of the drill. All right. We'll top off the uh, drill with solid fertilizer and uh, seeds. Oh, I need to double check. Hopefully this whole field's covered. Hopefully it didn't like accidentally do some of it without, you know what I mean? How it, sometimes it can get jacked up. We'll double check that real quick. Should be good though. Seeds and fertilizer here. That's topped off. That's topped off. All right. Come on. All right. What are you laughing at? That's Agro Tanhol's 8030 mod. Is that, that which one it is, Robert? There you go. Ice Dragon. Agro Tanhol's 8030 mod. Oh, come on. You little turd head. You son of a... Smack you. Ran into the only power line in the area. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to get this set up for success. All right, we're 
gonna switch over to canola because that is something we can plant this is our last chance to get it drilled because once october comes we'd have to wait a whole nother year so we're gonna get that drilled in this field here right three headlands sharp generate bada bing bada boom bada sling sling slow Start on first waypoint. Just reading the description of the passenger extension mod, you can define your custom characters in the XML. <laughs> Got you thinking, huh? You're like, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, how about we let Deep Creek? Deep Creek actually knows what he's doing, chat. So we're going to have him uh, drill some winter canola. He's not moving too fast. It's going to be a slow ride. Got some slopes on this field. He'll be all right. He'll survive. We'll get this stuff brought back to the farm in the meantime. Got to keep everything tidy. There's a tree there. Rolling coal, eh? Nice. Frosty, did you restock your angry orchard? I have not. It's too expensive. It's like a one every once in a while I, I buy some. I don't buy it like I don't keep it stocked on a regular basis. Too much money. Nah, just every once in a while. I've been sipping on water. Lots of water lately, because it's been so stinking hot. Lots of water. All right, mulching season is sort of over. So we're going to spray it off, get it cleaned up. It's quite dirty. Should be about cleaned up. Spray off Alice while we're here. There we go. <clears throat> I'm about out of fuel, too. This is not my tractor. We're borrowing this from Farmer Billy. AI worker has stopped manually. Oh, that's this guy. Never mind. So we got to return the John Deere next door. It's been very nice here in Missouri. We have been in the 70s for like a week now. Well, aren't you lucky? And all the rest of this week and next week is like no mid-90s here. It's absolutely wretched. It's wretched. remember where I can fill this. I might have to, uh... Yeah, I don't remember where I've topped this off. I think I gotta buy bags of it or something. The tarp on.
go. It's a nice ride, isn't it? You're sitting in Missouri? You ought to go see Duane. You guys could have some uh, Waffle House tonight or something. The Iowa dairy farmer lays in the stalls with his cows. Judy and Marshmallow. I, I'd do the same thing. You want to create a friendly bond so they trust you. He's a good man. He knows how to treat his cows good. They probably they probably trust him so good. When it's milking time, they're ready. No questions asked. Right, we'll sit this here. We'll return it to him another time. I mean, no rush. Get this parked up. I've been Branson. What's up, Gary McGee Jr.? Dean Hole, hello. I think the water is working in the house stall now. I just backed up to it, and it let me put water in it. Oh, yeah, I was, I'm was. i able to get water easy. Yeah, I get water right here at the farm. I can't give it to the horses. There's, like, no trigger point to give the horses water. But, yeah, I haven't had any issues with actual... Uh, filling the water. I'm gonna clear that. There we go. A little nice. Pretty. Pretty boy. Pretty girl. Very nice. Alright, we need to... Let the other worker continue uh, drilling in the winter canola. In the meantime, we'll throw in some bales for the dairy cows, some straw bedding. So this is all those straw bales we uh, collected on Thursday, I think it was. We're just pretty much going to chuck them in there. Uh, thank you again, Kevin Flores, for the $10 super chat. We have Dylan Scheer becoming a brand new subscriber. Thank you, Dylan. And any other person that might be watching, deciding if they want to subscribe. Don't decide. Just do it. There's no deciding. Just do it. It ain't going to hurt you. You might enjoy it. So I'm literally going to chuck these in here. I just got to find a nice spot. We'll open that gate. We'll uh, remove the chains on the side here. Yep. So I just removed the chains right here so we can grab them right out of there. And then literally just whip them out until it won't take anymore. Oh. Once we run out of all these, which we have a bunch more, we have some uh, sitting under that storage where we parked the lime spreader. So it'll be a while before we run out. But These lights turn on. They turn these lights on. They must be automatic. <clears throat> eat it! Don't eat it. Poop on it. Do you do what? Do you know what year the Volvo WIA was built in? <laughs> no. Looks like a nineteen eighties. Something in the 80s, maybe? But I have no idea. I don't follow Volvo very much at all, <laughs> so I don't know. Yeah, if I had to guess, probably in the 1980s sometime. What do you think, chat? 1980s on that uh, WIA Volvo by BC Bueller. Let's see how we're doing. 
I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired of throwing bales. Oh, yeah, look at that. Only a couple more and that bad boy will be filled right there. Be good, daddy. Be real nice. Take that bale right there. Ooh, we used more than I thought I was going to use. All right, we'll leave that one in there. It's topped off. That's why that one didn't disappear. But uh, they are fully bedded. And they're probably very excited about that. Oh. All right, that's closed up. Chains back on. There you go. Quite a few bales left over. I think this wagon alone will probably get them through October and November, and then we'll have to start eating into the other stack we have and shelter. And then once we go through all that in a couple months, we'll have to hit those big ones we put in storage. AI worker has stopped work unexpectedly. Tank is empty. So they either ran out of... I'm guessing they ran out of fertilizer. Already. I parked this in here to keep the uh, straw dry. Role play, you know. There we go. So yeah, we gotta go over and assess the situation. <laughs> Getting my steps in. <laughs> Oh man, it ran out fast. What the heck? What'd you run out of? Fertilizer. Oh boy. We're going to be refilling fertilizer quite a bit on this field. Luckily, we have quite a bit of fertilizer. Nineteen eighty eight to nineteen ninety eight. Oh, did you look it up? <laughs> you looked it up, didn't you? Sorry I'm late, I was mowing and weed eating two acres. You never be late again like that. That thing sounds amazing. What that old uh that little old tractor? Yeah, it's nice. Look. I think I think Patton. Is that how you say it? Patton fifty seven. He's the one that uh think he's the one that made those. He either made those or converted those. I'm not 100% sure which. But. Alright, let's top off the seed. And fertilizer was completely empty. we got in here I think the water oh, I read that uh, Mike still sitting in Missouri lost fifteen hundred dollars for the load not good not good horrible you know why we're using so much fertilizer because I didn't put any other fertilizer down I could have put down like slurry that's all right it's all good baby it's all good so we'll let them uh, keep doing their thing. Question is, this says weeds. So shouldn't I be able to spray this with herbicide? Let's find out. Let's find out. We'll head over there, start on the other end. We should be able to. I've been having some issues with that. I don't know if it's this map. 
Because I swear, I know, I know for a fact. Other maps I've been able to spray herbicide after, but this map's kind of been giving me some troubles. Like the uh, the graphics will show up that it did it. Like you'll see spots where it sprayed, but my percentage of my sprayer won't budge. It'll act like it didn't use any. So we'll see what happens here. Yes, you can, Daddy. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I hope it works. I think I have this set up as a 24 meter. going to work or not. See? Nothing's coming out. And the percentage isn't dropping at all on the bottom right of the screen. See how it's leaving the spots, but I'm still stuck at 93%. So it's acting like it works, but it act, it's acting like it don't work. Now if I turn it off, this part of the field says weeds growing. Now watch what happens. I walk over here. Weeds growing. It never registered that we sprayed that. So it didn't work. I think it's something with the map. Because any other time, this works on other maps. So, I don't know. Where's my testers? Where's the testers at? Mac Morrison, I know you're using this map. And anybody else listening that might be using this map. Uh, when you get the chance. That's not a mod. That's the in-game John Deere precision sprayer. Spot sprayer. And I tried another one. I tried two other ones. Mike Stilts and the same thing kept happening. Yeah, this is the base game precision farming one. But yeah, Mac Morrison or anybody else, if uh, if you get the chance at some point, not like right now, of course. But give me give me a report if you have the same issue on this specific map. Um, throwing down herbicide, it does work after the weeds actually are there. That does work. But in this situation, it's not working. So we're not going to waste... Well, we're not wasting any... We're just wasting time because it's not working. <laughs> but we're not wasting herbicide because it's not using any. So pretty much we're going to have to wait till uh, the weeds actually come up out of the ground. Which usually you don't have to do. Not a big deal. Just didn't know if anybody else had that issue on this map. I always wait till the weeds show, do you? See, on my survival series, I do it like this. I spray right after I plant. And then I don't have to worry about it. But it is more realistic to see the, the weeds and kill them. So it's not like it doesn't bother me. I'm fine with it. Alright. She's probably ready to run out of fertilizer again. <laughs> She's going to go through a couple loads of fertilizer, I think. Because this field right here, same thing. It says it looks like it's covered to my left. See all the spots? But it still says weeds are growing. So that's when I found out something was wrong. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I don't have that problem because I have weeds turned off. Hey, uh, we got a nice crowd here tonight. Smack the nipples off that like button, says Ian Oppenheim. Yeah, if you're a true jackwhacker. 
smack that like button. Come on. You know you want to. <laughs> you know. You know you've been sitting there looking at it. You might be new, too. You might be looking. You're like, oh, I see that little thumbs up, baby. I kind of want to hit it, but I kind of don't want to. But I don't know if I should because I might get excited. But, you know, I'm telling you right now. If you hit that like button, <laughs> you're going to feel real good. You're going to feel good. Uh, what's up, Brian Santor? What's up? What's up, Mike? So, I always wait till the weed show. You're boring. Nah, I should start doing that. Like, ooh, here, we'll test it. I'll show you. I'll show you. We'll test it out. There's actual weeds on this field. This is for testing purposes only. So I'm just going to show you that it will work with the weeds visible. All right, sprayer on and bada bing, bada boom. Weeds are killed. So it's, it's killing them on direct impact. So this field, bottom right of the screen, kind of hard to read. It says small weeds. Now if we walk over here, it's gone. So it does work. Just some maps you're allowed to spray before the weed's visible. But it's not like broken, broken. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. That's enough. That's enough focusing on that topic. But since we started this, let's finish it. Won't take long. A few swipes. And then this field's pretty much set up as a seed bed. So if we go into our map, if you ever wondered what a seed bed looks like on Farm Sim, uh, it looks like this right here. But that's not the field we're on. <clears throat> that was stubble tillage. Seed bed is gonna turn like this color here. So if we get rid of that cultivated, this is a cultivated field, which is pretty much like a seed bed. It's ready to be seeded or planted. But, yeah, there you go. So this is the one we planted tonight. We put winter barley in here. Right now, we're doing winter canola. Off stream, I put in winter wheat. So that's all the fresh crops. I'm going to leave this big field alone until it's time to plant sorghum which will be in April. So that field's going to sit for whew, like a half a year. That's probably a bad idea, but that's what's happening. I could plant some grass in there, huh? See how it's uh, it's kind of hard. There we go. This, this view is better. You can see how it's hitting all the weeds. Spot spring, and there's a crap load of weeds, so... Noise. So I think now that we've killed the weeds on this, they shouldn't grow back. Even if we don't plant or seed anything or plow it or nothing, I think the weeds are done until the next step we do, no matter how long we. I, I think. Pretty sure. Bet you, ooh, I bet you there's some nice bias in there. You think there's some bias in that little pond right there? Think there's anything good? Should we do some fishing? Do some fishing on the white farm? <laughs> All right. Hey, Frosty, me and my fiance went to meet her mom and dad, and I asked her dad for his permission to marry his daughter, and he said I can't. That's pretty good. Yeah, baby. Yeah. I reckon he must think you're all right. Otherwise, he'd say, get your butt out of my face, boy. So he must like you. That's good. That's good. 
Are you doing any survival series tomorrow night? No. I'm playing American Truck Simulator tomorrow night. Uh, new W900 DLC came out, a tuning pack with all kinds of accessories. And that's actually pretty stinking nice. Better than Oklahoma. And cheaper than Oklahoma. Yeah, the W900 accessories pack is better than the entire state of Oklahoma. True story. Just saying. But yeah, I'm gonna do some, uh, I'm gonna do some trucking tomorrow. I'm gonna fire up a big old W900 and let it roar. And I'm not staying in Oklahoma. We'll start in Oklahoma, but I ain't staying there. I'm taking, I'm going wherever the road leads, hopefully away from Oklahoma. <laughs> so yeah, we'll be doing some ATS. Alright, so this field should be good until uh, springtime. You know, with this field being so close, I should put something in there. There was barley in here before. I think we should throw winter wheat in here. When we're done doing the canola, yeah. I think we should take advantage of this field being like right next to the farm. And we'll uh, we'll get some wheat put in. We gotta rotate the crop because there was barley in it last time. <clears throat> ETS did just get an update. Yep, I noticed that today. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, just not Frosty approved. That's right, Jim Petty. Hey, Frosty, I tried this map the other night and didn't care for it. Then you go right back to good old flat Texas, all right? If you like that, then go for it. I bet Kevin Flores, if he played Farm Sim, he would use that Texas map just because it's called Texas. He would. Even if it was dead boring, he'd, he'd download that right away just because it's Texas. What's up, Mandy McKinley? All back from vacation and back to reality. Ugh, I know. I know that feeling. I know. When, when's Aubrey start school? I think I already asked that. My kids start in two days. When, or yeah, Wednesday they go back. My summer flu. All right, baby. They were nice. So them weeds are gone. It's a nice looking field. What's up, Kale Hansen? Do I need that Kenworth DLC? You don't need it. No. You just won't see other people that are using the parts. It shouldn't affect. Yeah, it shouldn't affect anything. <clears throat> All right, that's enough weed killing, I think, for the night. I'll swing this right where it goes. Very nice. I kind of like leaving a little dirt on the Alice, you know? Looks kind of good. Looks like it did something. Keep it looking... Keep it looking busy. All right, I know for sure. We'll get this returned to uh, Farmer Bill. I know for sure our... Uh, whoever's out there drilling canola ran out, so... We'll have to get them refilled with fertilizer, seeds, so they can keep the hammer down. <sighs> All right, Farmer Bill, I brought back your tractor. Park it in the shade. All right, he's good. So that's Agro Tonho's tractor. I did not realize that. Yep, sitting here empty. You son of a. 
They ran out of fertilizer this time. Seeds and fertilizer, yeah. Beautiful. All right, let her get back to work. to spark this red butter. What do we got? What do we got? Two bags of fertilizer. Seed. 529 liters of seed left. That should be enough to finish this field. She might not need enough. Yeah, well, yeah, she'll be fine. One, two, three more swipes and this field will be done. The, we don't need to worry about refilling her. Let's take this back to the farm. Very nice. I miss you farm with guys. Uh, I just found your channel this morning and watched the first two episodes of this today. Finished episode two and saw you live. Had to jump in. Well, thank you, dirty. I appreciate that. Did you enjoy it? You must have enjoyed it if you stopped in. I do appreciate that. Well, I just bought it so I can see you in my rear view mirror tomorrow. <laughs> I just hope, every, I, I hope everybody's able to connect because I am using third-party mods and yeah so I'm hoping the whole switch folder thing is gonna work because otherwise might not be anybody joining me <laughs> well, we'll see what happens right I start schooling people when I go back to work tomorrow the only animals I have on my map is chickens I'd let my other animals starve that's all right you can let them starve they don't die on this game unless you use a mod that they die which who would want to use that that's too realistic Cool. I think it's time to uh, fire up the slurry spreader. What do you say? I'm going to use something enclosed. I think we might just fire this up. I want to be... I don't want to smell all that mess going on. So, uh, closed cabin for uh, slurry spreading is preferred. For me, it is. <laughs> We're going to throw down slurry on this front yard grass field here. I think it has zero nitrogen in it. There we go. All hooked up. Got about 16,350 liters of slurry. I don't think I need to unfold. There's nothing to unfold. Yeah, just turn it on and get jiggy with it. Drop it like a top. Nitrogen, bottom left corner. Little different when you're using slurry and manure. You don't need it to be way up in the green. So it's, it's still giving it the uh, proper amount. Let's take a time out show you so currently it has zero of 55 so you want to have 55 uh, this area that we just covered 60 so we got 60 kilograms 
per hectare. Um, and that makes it perfect. There you go. Kind of hard to see because the grass is in that first growth stage. Ooh, Alice is wiggling. See Alice wiggling? Wiggling back and forth. I don't know if we'll have enough slurry to even cover this field, but we'll take what we can get. It's free fertilizer. Enhanced animal system, the animals die if health goes to zero for a couple of days. Uh, see, that never happens for me because my animals are healthy. I take care of my animals, you feel me? Yeah, I don't think any of my animals have ever been on zero for two full days in the game. I'd be ashamed. I'd be very ashamed. All right, let's zoom out so you can... Ugh, that doesn't really help, huh? Frosty drone. Kind of shows you what we're doing here a little better. And it is burning through it quick. Down to 37%, and I think there's another 10,000 liters in the uh, the pit that we can take from. And our hired worker has completed drilling the winter wheat. Oh, we'll get this whole thing covered. Maybe not with this load alone, but we'll, we'll get it covered. Nice. Doesn't have the widest work width. Down to ten percent. Some nice splatter effect, eh? And about to run out right now. All right, we'll go get ourselves a refill. Should be plenty in here to finish the job. <clears throat> hey, Frosty, what's the proper percentage for Mike and TMR? Uh, that's kind of a... Uh, it kind of depends. Me, I don't use mineral feed, and I just keep it simple. I do 40, 40, 20. Everybody else probably does it different. That's just how I do it. I don't think there's a wrong or right way to do it. It's kind of however, you know, just keep everything green. Make sure each section is green. Otherwise, it won't make a TMR mix. So 40% hay, 40% silage, 20% straw. Then I never have to worry about messing up. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I roll. Keep it simple, daddy. Keep it real simple. All right, we just got that one little block to do. Yep. Love the drive through fences, I know. <laughs> They're very helpful. Uh, this is an incredible cedar you got there. You like that? The case one? How you doing, Scooty? When'd you sneak in? He says, what's up, everybody? Frosty, why do you have so much money? Am I not supposed to have that much? How much did we have last time? I forget. I did have to uh, change some things because I was having those uh, filling issues with the trailers. So I did have to add money to fix 
what I thought was messed up but ended up not being. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's like bored. If anybody wants to like look at the end of Friday's stream and see how much money was in the bank account, I will reset it to that. I don't I just don't remember what it was. Being straight up honest. <clears throat> TMR mixing barn on the mod hub. Yeah, there's actual automatic mixers on the mod hub. All right, so this uh, field is perfectly percentage of nitrogen is perfect. Um, we don't have to worry about it. I'm not doing pH levels for the grass fields. I just don't care. Uh, yield is 113 out of 100, and we're in stage two of three. Two more months, this will be ready to cut again. But that'll be the month of November, so I don't know if you can cut grass in November. I don't know if it'll be fully grown. Can't remember. That's it. That's it for slurry spreading. Have to call it a night. All right, Jason. Have a good one, brother. Clean the decks. Ooh, I bet that was uh, a tiresome job. Well, have a good one, laddie. Appreciate you uh, hanging out and watching. Uh, Mr. Vanderford coming in with five Big Ring Froster Gaming memberships. We got one going to Jim Petty, Jeremy Brower, D. Wayne, Floyd Statenegger, and Storm and Norman. All getting gifted subs from Mr. Vanderford. If you received one of those gifted subs, would you please be kind enough to say thank you to Mr. Justin Vanderford. That was very kind of him to give you a 30-day free membership to Big Rig Frosty Gaming. Don't worry. No rules or applications or fines or anything will be added to you. You'll be fine. You just get 30 days of having a blast with Big Rig Frosty Gaming and the community. You can use the stickers at your disposal and just have a good old time. So say thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Justin. I'm going to run over here and get that drill sent over to my other field. Look at that. Fresh and clean. Well, that nice. So we're looking at a perfect yield on this field. Uh, yield potential 100. Expected 100. Bada bang, bada bang. things look like it went through a blizzard went through a snowstorm definitely gonna need a scrub down say dirty we do not own the sunflower field I did I, I went ahead and got rid of some fields I didn't want to have all of them it's too much work you know we're just small time farmers we can't have like every piece of land on the map <clears throat> are you going to get the cb back when you get it fixed the cb is not a problem but it is a problem it's not the problem that was causing my problems but it does cause other problems so i don't think i'll be using that again but it was cool to use it for one night just figured you would have spent all the money by now <laughs> Uh, the stream has been going for a couple hours. It has. But I don't think we had this much money at the end of Friday's stream. Whatever I ended Friday's stream with, that's what we should have. And I'll fix it. I just have no idea what that total was. A real don't know. This thing's wide. It'd be nice if it folded like the uh, that massy one on the mod hub, but that that massy one on the mod hub is a nightmare to uh, set up. It'd just be nice if this had like one little bar that popped out and the wheel folded, and you could pull it the other way. But it gets the job done. All right, we're going to give it a little wash. Give it a little wash. Right. 
Ooh. Might have to move the pickup truck. Little too tight through there. Still might not be enough room. Kevin Flores, what are you doing again? Coming in with the $20 super chat says, Frosty, did you see the US WNT soccer team lost to Sweden? I have never in my entire life sat down and watched a soccer game. I have no idea. I did not know and will not know, but I know now because you told me, but other than that, I'd never know. Uh, do you ever make homemade chili? No. And do beans belong in it? Yes. What's your favorite Mexican food? Ugh, not really any of it. I'm not a big Mexican food eater for multiple reasons. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. 200 likes achieved. Well, thank you very much. That's good. I appreciate that. 238 viewers and over 200 reactions. That makes me very happy. Can you see how happy I am? Thank you. All right, let's get this sprayed off. She got real dirty. Ah, she's looking fresh again. She shouldn't get too dirty doing the other field because we just sprayed herbicide, which got rid of all the lime that was on it. Uh, that's not even a proper 5100K seeder. That's just a crappy reskin of the JD on the mod hub. You just relax. You ended Friday with 140 grand, 210. Okay, let's fix that. Thank you for looking that up, Brian Pelsinski. You are a true jackwhacker for doing that. So we're going to give ourselves the exact amount that we ended Friday with. All right, there we go. Top right corner, we now have 140,210, which is way less than what I had. So that's good. Now we're back to where we were on Friday, money-wise. Thank you for looking that up, sir. I really do appreciate that. That was very kind of you. Duane Baker, thank you for the gifted membership. Going to Dude David. Dude David. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you, Duane. Little sweetie pie. Tell you what, them people from Missouri, they're not that bad. They're not too bad. Thank you, Daddy. All right, that's good enough. Good enough. Sc Scooty, you better stop making fun of my stuff. That's nice. That gets the job done, okay? We're going to steal what's on the truck here. All right. Fill up fertilizer. All right. All right, this is a direct drill. This is a cultivated field. It just has some dead weeds. These are the weeds we literally just sprayed a little bit ago. So it's going to it's going to direct drill right over those. It is going to use a lot of fertilizer. So we'll probably have to refill it a couple times. First waypoint. All right, who's that look like? You know what? That looks like Scooter's workbench. If you screw up, I'm firing you. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, Scooty Pooty's gonna do this field chat. 
And if he runs out of fertilizer and walks off the job, he's fired. I'm giving him the big old boot. What you get from making fun of my, making fun of my drill. It's a nice drill. How you been, Frosty? Just tuning in today. Been a bad day, but watching you gets my mind off things. Well, I'm glad. Crappy days suck. So I'm glad you're able to uh, tune that out while you tune into some big rig frosty. Come on. Come on, you feel me? What's up, Walter Trent? <clears throat> That's not even a proper 5100K cedar. You, you, I'm done reading that. Ended episode two with 342, 141. What? You ended Friday with 140. I'm, I'm getting different reports from different... Yeah. We're just gonna leave it at 140. All right, so this is saying that... See, what the heck, man? So this killed the weeds. <laughs> but now that he's drilling, the weeds are growing back. So we wasted herbicide. We should have just direct drilled without killing those weeds. Because they're just going to grow back after this grows for a month. Whatever. I can't keep it all under control. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Get this cleaned out. Not that there's barely any in there. Thousand liters per bucket. It's going to take a while to, <coughs> excuse me, fill this trailer up. The healthier your animals are, I think the faster maybe they produce manure. I don't know. Or maybe it just matters if you have straw bedding. Frosty, remember you live and you learn. Yeah. If I screw up, it's because that's his JD reskin drill with a... <laughs> If it were a proper 5100, it'd be perfect. You have the proper one, huh? I don't know how I got those mixed up. I don't know how I got those mixed up. Dang it. I got the seed drill. The McCormick seed drill. And then, yeah... So that's literally this one, chat. Same exact thing, just reskinned. John Deere 8350. And then this is the same exact thing with just a different paint job. So I think this is the one Scooty's talking about, which we do have sitting on the farm. It has a three meter, three meter work width and requires 10 horsepower. We should use that sometime. I think it's sitting right behind us. Yeah, it's sitting right there. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Man, that's not much manure, is it? Is like the quickest manure cleaning I think I've ever done. Two little scoops and that was it. <laughs> There's a little bit of poo in there, not much. <laughs> 1300 liters. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? No, no, I'm just disappointed that Giants let a reskin on the mod hub but complain about. I know, I know. Yep. For them, though, it's easy. They're like, hey, that's the same as that John Deere one. Yep, looks good. Bing! <laughs> uh, what's up, Zach Ryan? I hope they bring the advanced animal mod to console. They won't. Frosty, I found the water trigger. Do you own the land where the horses are? I already sold a Dice Dragon. I don't know. I... 
Should we get horses, chat? I don't even know. Should we? Where's the, where's the trigger point at? Try explaining that to me. Try explaining that to me. I'll buy it. Let's see how much that chunk of land is. That is this little bitty field 30, which costs 4,500 bucks. And it comes with two horses on it already. <clears throat> all right, well, we'll test it out. If it doesn't work, we're all blaming Ice Dragon. This is all Ice Dragon's fault if this doesn't work. But yeah, the water, the water trigger works fine. That's actually over here. I think this is where you get water, right out of this little white tower. Yep. You got to pay for it. I don't, we wouldn't have to. I was just showing you that it works. That's what that's for right there. That's a purchasable water tower. Or you could just dip into the pond, which is right next to the house. That was just experimental, just showing you that it works. All right, so we got 2,000 liters of water. Miss Frosty's excited because she's in a John Deere. It's her favorite. But yeah, I could have got water right out of here. Right out of the pond. You better explain this like a champion. Or I'm going to be lost. Just like I was on Friday. They need to go real old school. Everything pulled by animals. <laughs> yeah, the, the animal DLC. The trailer symbol. You, so you think I didn't try emptying into the trailer symbol. Are you serious? I tried this like 10 times on stream and it didn't work. If it works, I'm going to smack your nipples off. trailer sucks change block trailer Might be set to auto refill the water. No, none of my water disappeared. 2000. Doesn't matter what I switch to. And then the only other little trough is right here next to the fence, which I tried that a bunch of times. And that didn't work either on Friday. And that's the one that actually has water in it. Doesn't matter what I do on that one. So, same thing as last time. That looks to be the feed trough. I did. I, I tried both on Friday, like, over and over again. It just doesn't work. So. Still no luck, chat. Still no luck. Alt B. Yeah, that's okay. I don't really want horses anyway. <laughs> All right, so we'll sell that again for 4560. There you go. So maybe it works for some people, but I ain't working for me. I say it's a trailer. It's reskin JD2. No, it's not. But this trailer works fine for uh, the greenhouses. So I've already tested that. And it works quite lovely. 
And I started storing eggs in here, chat. So when a pallet's full, I just pick it up and put it in here to keep it nice and dry. Isn't that nice? All right, how's our how's our little driller doing? Oh, he's doing very nice, yeah. Very nice. Let's see how low they're getting. Forty-three percent on fertilizer. They're doing good. Not bad. They are gonna run out though soon. Probably after they're done with the headland, they'll be ready to fill up. But other than that, doing pretty good. All right, let me check my list here. Deliver potatoes, feed the pigs, lime potato field, spread slurry on grass field, did that, bale straw bales, store in the neighbor's storage, did that, plant canola, did that, spray weeds, direct drill wheat, mm-hmm, barley, yep, uh, deliver, ooh, let's deliver some wheat to the grain mill, and we get to fire the big old truck up here. So, if we go into our predictions. There's our greenhouses. So, the grain mill. They only got 500 liters of barley left. They're about to run out. So, we're going to bring over some wheat to keep that thing going so it can make flour to distribute to the bakery that makes bread for us. You feel me? And since we started this series, we've got 53,000 liters of wheat in storage. I'm not going to take it all. We're just going to get one truckload and send it over to the grain mill just to keep the factory running. So fire up the old uh, Mac and hopefully we'll be able to fill up some grain from the silo. If not, I'm probably going to rip my right nipple off and throw it at the screen. So be looking out for that. <clears throat> Where'd Miss Frosty go? Why is she not riding shotgun? She's usually riding shotgun. Alright, cross your fingers. This fills up. Ah, we're good. It worked. It worked. Yay! Frosty! Did you see that the farm sim guy had a new auto drive tutorial? Might be packed with some helpful information. I did see that. I did see that. Why? Oh, auto drive. I don't I don't use auto drive. I thought he did a course play one. You talking about course play? I know he just made a course play one, because course play got an update. That I'd watch. But I don't use auto drive, so. And I don't want to use auto drive. I like driving places myself. Thank you, Bobby. All right, so 23,000 liters. That's plenty to keep that factory going for a good while. Probably a couple months. <clears throat> like a little obstacle course through here. Listen to that engine. Heading downtown. Grain mill's super close to my farm, too. It's like a short drive. So we're dumping right over here. Tarp off. Drop it like it's hot. And while that's dumping, we'll uh, activate wheat. Bam. 
Alright, wheat is activated. So now it's going to continue making flour without the factory shutting down. Everybody employed there can continue working. It is not going out of business anytime soon. What's up, Orville Ward? He says that truck is about as old as my wife. Come on, baby. No, he just released the auto drive for combine. Oh, okay, yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not into the auto drive. Nope, sorry. Frosty, I got my new bed set coming in on Wednesday and it has charge ports on the frame and the storage shelves on it. So you'll never have a dead battery watching me. You'll always be fully charged. Very nice. Did you get that for that specific reason? <laughs> Kidding. Did you? Because you're here every night. That might have been like a, a must. He's bed shopping. He's like, all right, I need, I need chargers built into my bed. Because I watch Big Rig Frosty Gaming every night. I need it. If you can't do it, I don't want it. That's a nice little delivery. See? Wasn't that nice? Man, that jig break's nasty. I like it. I'm getting jealous all the soybean. We are, we're going to have lots of soybean to harvest soon. Like two or three fields of soybean. Oh, yeah. If you're into auto drive, definitely go check out Farm Sim Guy. I, I love his content. I'm just not a... I don't use auto drive. So, to me, it's not interesting to me. But for those that want to be better at it or learn anything new that's been added to it, Definitely go check his videos out. Because he'll explain it very thoroughly and educate you to be a professional auto driver. Lovely. Uh, yep, I had a feeling they were almost empty. They got to be ready to be empty here. Where's my little van? My little van at? Oh, I barely have any seed left. 38 liters in here. Wouldn't it be cool if they filled while you're driving next to him? Oh, that would be sweet. Take it. Take it. That would be cool. If they would just stop and refill. But they don't want to. Fine. Whatever. That'd be cool, though. Part of the reason. My whole family and I are watching while eating some dinner. My two-year-old son loves the truck. Oh, you like that Mack truck? Uh, it's quite nice. I like it myself. Quite lovely. While we're waiting for that Jack Whacker to uh, finish, or till he runs out here very soon, let's load up some more uh, bags here. Now wild man we amp. Now wild man nine nine. I thought you was harvesting tonight. Nope. Nothing about harvesting on my uh description. Nope, 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 nope. No siree, Bobby. Drilling. Drilling mean means planting. Or close to it. Should be enough fertilizer, maybe, to finish that field. Uh 
Come on, baby. You know you won't get in there like that. Come on. Yep, he just ran out. Nice. All right, who sat that bag in there crooked? Whoever did that is a butthead. There we go. Might have to buy a bag of solid. Just one. $1,820. Chase! It's highway robbery, daddy. Perfect. Won't need to use this again tonight. Shut her down. Park her in the shed. Go uh, fill up that tractor. Do you like opening the doors to get in a vehicle? I think that should be base game. I like it. I do like it. I love the uh, interactive controls. We were talking about that uh, earlier before you got in here. It's quite nice. Nice little extra thing to do. And Friday, I was talking about how it'd be nice to have repair. Like a, you know click on repairs where you click on stuff to repair things like have a toolbox or whatever you know that'd be fun oops see forgot to open it i'm so used to not having that luxury all right let's fill up seeds switch over to fertilizer go we'll let john yeah we'll let john mckinley take over he's got a nice summer tan going on there <laughs> all righty let's close the door get this thing fired away probably need to use it one more time before this field's done he's still got quite a bit to do probably gonna run out of fertilizer again yeah we'll just leave the truck sitting here i guess All right, chat. I've been farming like a maniac. I want to go fishing. Okay? Everybody deserves a little break. So, therefore, I will go fish. Every farmer deserves a little downtime. And there's a nice little spot right here at the end of the pond where you can catch some big, big three inch long sunfish. They're huge. All right. They're in there somewhere. Sometimes they like to hide under there. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, let's do a little bit of fishing, eh? Yeah, yeah. Some sightseeing. Good evening, Logan Goddard. I do not tan. I turn pink, so I just wear long sleeves. I'm having issues with the meat processing plant. Won't let me unload from an actual animal trailer. <laughs> I had my issues with that. I finally got it working. 
Do you have the one mod that's required? You need the actual factory mod, but you also need... What's that other mod called? Scooter's Workbench? What's the other mod John McKinley needs to make the uh, the meat processing plant work? A animal... No. I forget what it's called. I'm sure he'll put it in the chat for you, though. Uh, we've got Jacob Nunks here. Yeah. Mr. Nunks, yeah, coming in with a $10 super chat. Super sticker. Got a hippo riding on a gaming chair, leaving fire streaks in the... In, oh, yeah, by the it's nice. Animal input. Yeah. Animal input. Thank you, Jacob. Thank you, Mr. Nunks, yeah. Mr. Nunkster, did you see the Discord thing about tomorrow? You think you'll you think you'll be there, huh? All right, there ain't no fish out here. Not one darn fish. Get this thing taken back. Oh, could catch some uh, grasshoppers. What do you think, chat? Nice little boat. Not splendid. Not bad. Not bad. Good looking ride. All right. That was fun. Now I need to uh, get whatever silage is left in the fermenter. And we're going to just throw it over in the feed mixer for the cows. <laughs> Good night, Tony. What a boat mod that new to me. Come on, daddy. I have the Kubota DLC. Can you use the passenger thing that you use on console? Like I said, Brandon, I, I don't... I don't know much about console these days. I don't even know if the passenger mod is... That's probably a PC-only mod if I had to guess. But I, I I don't know. Maybe someone in the chat can help out Brandon Gossett on that uh, the answer to his question. Because I'm not sure, brother. Alright, so we're going to load up silage. So this is my new transfer trailer. It only holds 11,000. But that's good enough. All it's all I got it for was to transfer silage back and forth. Might be able to pull the slurry tanker with this uh, Oliver every once in a while, or maybe spread uh, uh, manure with it. Some fresh silage. Hey, man. Greetings from Brazil. What's up, Marcus Souza? Welcome from Brazil. It'd be nice you can go fishing on the farm if you had a lake to fish in. There is a map that you can do that. And for some reason, I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> it's got an actual pond with fish in it. And you can take the fish and use them in production. Oh, Hoff Bergman. Hoff Bergman. It's a third-party map, of course. But it has a pond on it. Rabid Rob, he's tried it out. I have yet to try it out. But Rabid Rob, he uh, he's already messed with it. And you can literally get on a boat, go out into the lake, catch the fish, bring the fish back to the house where there's a little uh, station to... I think you can blacken the fresh fish or you can sell it raw you have like two options which is pretty cool I'm just gonna get what's left in here almost another full trailer Ah, 
Back her up. Perfect. Meh. All right. So we've been messing with this feed mixer since episode one. And this is how much we have in it to this day. Uh, we have. <clears throat> if I can find it. There we go. We got 107,000 liters of straw. 105,000 liters of silage, 104,000 liters of hay. And all that can be mixed to make TMR. That's that's a nice uh, supply we got there. And this trailer holds 30,000 liters. I got 45 uh, heifers in here. And they don't really... Uh, they don't take a lot of TMR. A full trailer, they don't even need a whole 30,000 liters a month. So that's a good uh, supply of leftovers we got. Yes, sir, Bobby. Good evening, bass singer. I almost said bass again because we were just fishing bass. Well, not really, but. I was trying to role play some fishing. We got a little speedboat over there. Fish, well, not speedboat, fishing boat. Mm. Love the way that sounds when you shut it off. All right. Let's see what's next here. Deliver wheat. Did that. <clears throat> this guy's got to be almost done. Ooh, ooh. Almost done planting the... Uh... Oh, son of a little dirt ball. I forgot to switch canola. I don't want canola in this field. Son of a... I was supposed to put weed in here, chat. Dang it! All right, so now we have a... We have two canola fields that'll be grown. Man. I wanted this to be wheat so I could have bales right next to the farm. Oh, well. Too late now. <laughs> it's almost finished. Son of a... You said you were leaving, John. Make up your mind. Uh, Brandon Gossett, the passenger app is PC. It is PC only? Okay. Sorry, Brandon. Yeah, PC only. Yeah, Hoth Bergman. Good map. Very good map. I've got a few episodes of that in my uh, playlist. It's been a while. But I kind of stopped playing on it because every time I get everything set up, there's an update that requires a new game save. So I just kind of got burned out on setting everything up again. But excellent map. Definitely a great, uh, great map for PC only. Hoff Bergman. Go check it out. But this, if you're watching for the first time, this is The White Farm. This map is on the Mod Hub, and this map is for console and PC. So uh, go ahead and fire it up and give it a shot. I think it's amazing. I like it. I love it. And I want more of it. This is the third episode in less than a week, which I usually don't do. So that definitely means I like it a lot if I'm streaming it that much. Very good. Good detail. Definitely got that American vibe on this map. Love the uh, landscape. Some of the fields have shape to them. Some are square, but some have... I'll have to show you. <clears throat> some of them have their own uh, custom shapes, but most of them are square. Some have the round edges. You got this L-shaped field. The grass fields. You know, this one's got some wiggle to it. Yeah, I like it. And it does have French fries. Popcorn. 
mixed salad, strawberry jam. Those are the four different uh, different things added other than your base game stuff. So, And they did add the old American grain mill, which you can find that on the mod hub, but it's built into the map, so I don't know if it tells you to download it or if it's just built in, but either way. It's a grain mill that makes all that stuff at one place. You just got to bring, you know, the stuff for it. You make your oils, your flour, you can make pig food, yada, yada, yada. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty fun map. Quite enjoying it. I have nothing in demand. French fries won't be in demand till June, so we're going to kind of let those stockpile. Milk is starting to produce. And it's in demand right now, but we don't have enough worth to sell. Yeah, you know. There's our cows, 45 of them. Chickens, I do have overcrowding activated. Same with the pigs. So they can just keep pumping them out. You know what ah, Look at the health of the pigs going down. That's because we don't have any base food. We got to get them some corn or sorghum ASAP. All right, so he was, ooh, 4% left over on fertilizer. Just enough to finish the job. Very nice. So now I got two stinking fields of uh, canola. Forgot to switch, dang it. Build up for next time. And just ran out of fertilizer. Need a little bit of fuel. This tractor's almost at a half a tank. There we go. Full tank of fuel. So, Scooter, are you telling me I need to switch? back to the John Deere, would that be more realistic for you? Yes, you have to download the mill, do you? Okay, so it, it, it uh, probably um, alerts you to do it when you download the map. Use easy development to switch field fruit. I ain't doing that. That's cheating. Hey, big Frosty, how's your day? Polecat704, my day is pretty good. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Think you'll do another farm with center pivot irrigation? Probably not. Edward Nash. Thank you. Thank you, Edward, for looking that up. Appreciate that. Uh, John says, laying in bed and had to return. <laughs> Keystone says, I do that all the time. What do you do all the time? Oh, you yeah, you plant the wrong thing by accident. Yeah, because we've done three fields tonight. I knew I'd mess up. Because we, we did canola, or we did barley, and then I was I had enough memory to switch it to canola. But by this time of the show, the memory's gone, and I forgot to switch back. Very sad. Man, this didn't really get that dirty. But we could clean it. Abracadabra, cadabra, could do. Schlippity dappily, schlippily boo. All clean. <laughs> uh, do Ann brought or uh, bought a new phone? Where? Where did he say that? Hey, Frosty, you've played this a lot. Can you overfill trailers and break an axle and burn out your equipment of hauling overweight loads? No. But that'd be cool. <laughs> that'd be. That's what I was talking about Friday. I, I'm serious. Like, that would be something giants should look into for the next farm sim got to have something new something new different to add to the game and i think that'd be sweet seriously driving down the road and a tire pops you could have audio go 
and then the thing would the tractor would start shaking and then you just get out and maybe have like I said like a toolbox and you open the toolbox click you know just click 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 and then you go fix whatever's broken and then it'll charge some money from your bank account because role play you, you had to order a part or something you know little things like that would make uh I mean, it's already a super replayable game. But little things like that make it even more enjoyable. Alright, so that's all done. I thought I bought, bought more fertilizer. Did I only get one bag? Yeah, this is all seed, huh? Goodness, Lottie. <clears throat> so crop rotation was bad. Canola was not a good crop to put in this field, so it's killing me on... Look at that. Expected yield, 80%. Hmm. The previous harvest was sunflowers, potatoes, and barley. Barley was before this crop, and they're telling me canola. I should have looked. Here's how, here's how crop rotation works. If I would have took the time before I planted canola, which is not what I wanted to plant. If I would have went over here, I wanted to put wheat, which it's not going to give us a good number now because I've got canola in there. But you want to look for what's going to give you the best. Oats would have been not too bad. Corn would have been even better. And uh, grass. So grass or corn will be the best thing to put in this field after the canola gets harvested. So that's how the crop rotation planner works. I just forgot to look. <laughs> I forgot to look at it. That's my bad. Miss Frosty could have said something, but she's, you know what? Why don't you get out? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I love you. All right, let's go. <clears throat> so that's a nice uh, canola field that I didn't need or want. But hey, it's planted in there. Nothing we can do about it now. Uh, what's up, Dumas? Let's all go down to doom miss walker how's your day going it's doing better now that you're here if you do have that they need to make it so you can turn it off no i want it on jim petty what'd you say frosty drone you like the frosty drone the frosty drone i like it too makes me very happy Oh, we're supposed to mow uh, Farmer Bill's yard, huh? Should probably go do that. Who wants to mow Farmer Bill's yard? It's the least we can do for uh, everything he's done for us. All the equipment he lets us borrow. It's the least we can do. Let's get our tow mirrors extended. Hitch. All right, we're going to go mow Farmer Bill's front yard. I don't know if this is going to go well or not. Hopefully it does. <laughs> This ought to be interesting. Do big bags are common in the U.S.? Uh, I think we're more like pallets. 
I'm sure there are bags. I know there's bags, but I think we're more uh, like these. Like a pioneer pallet full of seed. But as far as fertilizer goes, I don't know. I'm not a real farmer. But I know these are pretty common in the U.S. Uh, I'd say probably more towards the pallet. Pallet of seeds and whatnot. But yeah, ask Mac Morrison. He would know. And many others in the chat would know. We got we got lots of real farmers that watch. Where did you get that trailer? I got it right here. See? It's connected to my pickup truck. What, you blind or something? Um, You know what to get out. Huh? Dude, I've been watching your videos every day. This is the first time I joined. What the heck took you so long, Dumas Walker? Elizabeth Sturdy. I forgive you for firing me early, so here's two pounds. You. That's... I fired you, and then you sent me two pounds. I kind of like how that worked out. Worked out pretty good for me. Thank you, Elizabeth. Hey, I only fired you because you were slacking. You would have done the same thing, right? I don't even know where Farmer Bill lives. Whip out my GPS here. Farmer Bill. So that's his farm where that that's his storage area there. You know what? That grass is looking a little rough. I think that's what he meant. I wonder if he meant to cut that or his actual Well, let's just go visit his house. I'm not sure what he wanted me to do. I think he wanted me to mow around the uh, French Fry factory because he owns this land. So we're just going to spruce it up a little bit around here. All right, that's not going to clear. Let's get a little more level. Right about there should get the job done. Alright. Come on, baby. <laughs> Crap. Is there a way to uh, turn real mower, turn off, lower mower? Got to check one thing. I think this leaves uh, grass on the ground. Well... It's only going to do it on grass. Okay, nah, I think we'll be all right. Only on grass that's, uh, like grass, grass. Grass, grass. All right, ready? Head her down. About to make this look nice and, nice and crispy clean. Yeah, that's real nice. That's real nice right there. We'll do a couple headlands. <laughs> Missed a spot. Uh, I've only been following Frosty for about 19 days now. You stop it. Bill mowed the other day around the corner, did he? What mod site did... I don't flip and no, Polecat. I got like... Six gigs of mods. I have no idea. But I'll tell you one thing. King Mods is usually where you can find a lot of good stuff. So go find, go go get that website. Pin it so it's in your favorite pins and links to things you go check out. And you'll find all kinds of stuff. Or just type in Big Tech's trailer for FS22. 
and you'll probably find all kinds of uh, places to get it. All right, this this mower, watch what it can do. Amazing. He said to get rid of all that rubble, all those bushes and tall weeds. He said, knock it all out, Frosty. I want that front yard looking like a million bucks. I said, okay, Daddy. Hey, Farmer Bill. Got to get her done. <laughs> yeah. That mower, this mower is magical. You see what that, you see that thing? Knocking them big bushes down like it ain't nothing. That's how you get her done right there. Thank you again, Elizabeth. I do appreciate the uh, support. A Red Acres member for 25 months says, I am all out of fingers, toes, and appendages. So good thing YT keeps count. I can't count this high, he says. Well, thank you, sir. 25 months as a member. The maniac. I put up with him and he puts up with me, chat. It's just one of those things, you know? Alright. Might not be the straightest lines in the world, but you know what? Looks good. Looks real good. I think that looks nice. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna do right up to the sign here. What do you think? Eh. Oh, I didn't know you could move that sign. I just ran it over. Good stuff. Right along the edge there, yeah. That view makes me a little dizzy, a little nauseous. I'm gonna switch back to this view. Oh, getting hung up. The steep hill right there, I gotta get a run for it. Oh. Is that ever gonna grow back? <laughs> I don't know if that's ever gonna grow back through there. It may or may not, I don't know. What the bronca ma? Says hello, Frosty. When did the stream get 230 likes? I don't know. Getting a lot of reactions tonight. Appreciate everybody hitting the like button. And for those that hit the the bad button, but the ones that hit the like button, thank you so much. It's very sweet, very kind. We appreciate that. I could get real fancy and get the weed eater out. That's too much work. Better wait. Don't you run me over. All right, that looks good. So that's our uh, Farmer Bill's French Fry Factory. I provide him with potatoes, and I cut his grass, and he lets me use all the equipment for free. As long as I do stuff like this. You know, teamwork. All right, that's good. That looks real nice. That's all he wanted. He said the front yard looked horrible, so. Looks a little better now. It's a little well-maintained. 
The last time I've seen lines like that were at the White House. Hey! <laughs> oh, man! Does your boy cut your grass at home, or do you do? I do my own yard, because I enjoy it. But he's got, him and his friend have, like, almost too many yards to take care of. And with school starting, I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, he stays busy, which is awesome. He's made a lot of summer money. All right, let's get that strap down. All right. Good stuff. See, there's so much you can do on farm sim. You don't have to just harvest, plow, and that's it. You can go. You can go cut people's grass. You know. So much you can do. And that is a fresh cut yard right there. Man, that looks horrible. But it's, you know what? Farmer Bill don't care. He's just glad the ticks are gone. I think it looks pretty good myself. It looks very nice. <laughs> it looks, it looks a little rough. But does that grass grow back? You think that's going to grow back? It's just decorative grass. It's not the, you know, it's not kind you can, like, harvest and feed to your animals. It's just, yeah, I can't remember if that's going to stay like that or if it'll grow back. Oh. Guess we'll find out. You can do, you, you can do grapes. Yeah, you can do grape harvest on, on Farm Sim. It's been a while since I've harvested grapes. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about grapes. It's fun sometimes. It will grow back. Thanks, Scooty Pooty Flutie. I wasn't sure. I might need to find a place to put a warehouse on this map, huh? Some place to store pallets of French fries, because I already saw they were over overloaded with them. an easy daddy almost perfection one little pull up stuff. Alright. B-E-A. Beautiful. I like it. Frosty, I spent all day looking for that and couldn't find it. Dang it, that sucks. What time are you done with live stream? I don't know. Whenever I'm done, you jackwhacker. I use the second floor of the cow barn for storage for, for now. For pallets? Ooh. You're telling me this takes pallets? I didn't know that. I can store actual pallets in here, Glenn. Ooh. You just gave me an idea. I like it. I know you can put bales in there, but I didn't know you could put pallets. Where are the pallets going to spawn? I need to get this thing out of here. I need to get this out of this because uh, this might be like a spot where something spawns or stores. So let's get this completely out of this uh, barn.
Love that Ford truck. Me too. Makes me happy. Hello, Frosty and chat. Hope everyone's doing well. I'm doing good, Tyler. I would love for apple trees and FS or almonds. There's apple trees on the valley, the old farm. Good map. Very pretty map. The valley, the old farm. It's on the mod hub, too. I don't even know if we'll end up keeping this thing. It was more for, uh, just for fun that one night. <laughs> I might just sell it. There's really no use for it. But we'll throw it in here for now. Steer is really bad, too. I don't even know if this thing will fit in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you never know. We might take a drag race in some day. But, uh, so I can put actual, what, 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 uh, Glenn say? They spawn in front of the storage spot. <sighs> yes, sir, he says. They spawn in front of the storage spot. What do you mean in front? This is where I'd unload them, correct? Oh, this might be interesting, chat. So they're going to spawn right in here? Like, how am I going to get to them? I need them to spawn over here, over here. Or do they just, like, storm internally and you don't visually see them stored in here? Either way, we'll find out. We'll find out. All right, we're going for a drive, chat. I got, a, I got my big truck and my flatbed. But it's sitting on the other side of town. I park it at the truck stop. So we're going to go get it fired up. And we're going to get us some French fries and put them in storage. Because the French fries aren't worth any money till June. And it's only September. So. So, yeah. That's what's happening. You feel me? The cubby area is where they are stored. Okay, cool. So they're like out of the way, not where you back in. Because I didn't want to... Oh, look at that. Look at that lawn cut job. Holy crap. Blizzard Express Mowing Company. Get your yard looking nice again. Come on. Man, that looks good. Every time I drive by that, I'm going to get excited. Wait till you see this setup. <laughs> Wait till you see this setup coming up. Oh, baby, you're going to like it. You are going to flip out. You might not flip out, but you're, you're going to like it. Some of you might not like it. I don't know. Most of you should. Uh, can you do a live stream? Matthew, I'm going to smack your left nipple off. I ain't doing no morning stream. You crazy? One night ride? Maybe. Uh, where did you find that old school steam engine tractor? I found it on Google. <laughs> it was on your left when you look out the door. Okay, so it's going to storm on the left. Someday paid way too much for that front yard mount. I might have. All right, you ready for this? So over here is uh, Johnson Rental Company. So this is where when we do a uh, harvest, we will rent a, if we do cotton, we'll rent that cotton harvester there. And uh, there's a rental transport truck there to haul it. So that's over here out of the way. We don't have room on our farm. We can't afford a uh, million dollar piece of machine so we just rent it when we need it it's sitting there 
And then further down the road is just where people live, houses and stuff. But there's my big daddy truck over there. <laughs> oh, man, you're going to love it. Let's top off the, the, the truck tank first. All right. $10 in fuel. I barely needed any. Very expensive. Oh, my love, my darling, I'm home good for your freight line of touch. Hello, Lola time. You know that's sexy. <laughs> Lights off. Thump my tires. Clink, clink. Thump, thump. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Been a while since I used this trailer. Got our big rig frast, <laughs> big big rig frasty, big rig frosty placard that warns everybody that big rigs coming down that highway. You feel me? Always have your frosty placards installed. Now, first we're gonna do ourselves a pre-trip inspection. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, everything in there seems to be working all right. I don't see anything leaking. I don't see anything exploding. I think I'm a happy daddy right now. Landing the gears up. Oh baby. Baby, 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 baby. Whoop. Boom. All right, horns work. Flashers are working. Check those brake lights. All right, those work good enough. All right, chat, we're going to go pick up some pallets. That's a nice-looking truck. I knew you'd drool over it a little bit. Uh, need some fertilizer? I'm all right. Somebody paid way too much for that front. Yes, they did. It was on your left. Where did you find that? I don't know. The cubby area, okay. They're called almond trees because where they harvest the nuts, they shake the L out of them. <laughs> I would love for Apple. I use the second floor. I sp okay, I'm all caught up on chat. Let's go uh, get those pallets. I'm gonna take a stop at the French fry factory. our field next to us that's the uh that's the uh wheat field we planted at the beginning of the stream right there on the right oh crap all right i think there's collision on that fence i thought it was in one of those fences you could drive and not worry about it that one does have a collision just a heads up Yeah, right, we're here at the French fry factory, fresh cut front lawn, and now we get to get some French fries. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, we're going to get as close to those pallets as we can. <clears throat> All right, 
baby. Load that mama up right now. I ain't messing around. I said right now. Get her done. Alright, better better spawn some more. That's 12,000 liters of french fries. I don't know if any more is going to spawn. We'll see. One. Alright, cool. Alright, so 13,000 liters. Like I said, it's not good till uh, June. So we're going to go store it at the house. So there's room for more to, you know, spawn there, you know? Just for giggles. Just for fun. Right. Wouldn't, wouldn't hurt if the volume was a little louder on this truck. Beautiful truck. But would be nice if it was louder. This will be interesting trying to back this into the barn. <laughs> oh, this is not going to go well. I don't even know if those are going to fit. I don't know. I don't know. We'll try it first, see if it'll work. But if not, we'll probably end up have to uh, offload them onto the ground and just forklift them up into the garage, which would be fine. Wouldn't take too long. But first, we'll see if we can back this bad boy in here. And even if we do back it in, I don't know if the uh, the trigger point's going to catch the front end of the trailer, because that's a pretty long trailer. <laughs> yeah, ain't going to work. But we'll, we'll test. We'll try it anyway. You look like you should be chasing a motorcycle through the L.A. Apoducts, listening to GNR in that trip. Look at that Lego motor. That's nice. <laughs> That's a nice look. The truck's nice. Just just don't look under there. Oh, you don't think that looks real? <laughs> yeah, they might have cut a few corners to get that done quick. Like, I had nobody going to look under there. Yeah, a little rough, a little rough. And we'll probably bottom out on the arch of the uh, ramp. <laughs> Come on, baby. Oh, almost. Man, so close. It took uh, it took the one pallet on the end. See, there's no way to get in there. But watch this. I can unload them right there, which is super easy to get the forklift to uh, put the rest in there. So surprisingly, we didn't bottom out. Thanks to the uh, big Great Dane trailer. Oh, now we bottom out. Trying to get out. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. I call that a successful uh, delivery. I could have been a lot worse than it was. Not bad. Do -do -do -do. That went pretty good, right? Can I see the map you're playing on? Yeah, it's the white farm. It's on the mod hub, cross-platform. That's what it looks like. It's not very big. It's my type of farm. I love these smaller style farms. You got uh, a couple main roads, little forestry area, and then, uh, yeah, I think, what, there's 18 fields? That's it. So yeah, it's good for single player. Wouldn't be much of a good uh, multiplayer map at all.
All right, this hump going into the barn is nasty. Look at this. And of course, it was nothing wrong with it. <laughs> Usually, it's it makes the whole vehicle pop, but oh well. All right, we do have long forks, so this should go pretty smooth. Do three at a time. And we literally just drop the french fries in here. And they are spawning back in here. Okay, cool. So here's all the stored ones. We can't touch those. We can't get those. The only way we can get those that we've stored is to stand over here and retrieve it. And then it'll spawn somewhere over where those are sitting. Come on, baby. Get in there. Get in there. That's right, baby. You know what? About to get real fancy. I'm gonna double stack you. <laughs> there you go. How many did I get in there? Look at that. Three that whoa. Cal just magically appeared. Different. What's he doing? What the heck? Where'd you come from? You're supposed to be downstairs. Alrighty then. Loading cow. Maybe I'm getting too tired. Are you guys seeing a floating cow, or am I the only one seeing that? Maybe maybe I'm just losing it. <laughs> uh, totally craving McDonald's fries right now. They are pretty good. Oh, I, I had uh, Culver's for dinner. Frosty is forklift certified. That's right. I really am, too, or used to be. I'd probably have to take the recertification course. But there you go. It stored them all back in there. We can forget about those until the month of June when they're in demand. Beautiful. So that's cool. I didn't realize I could put pallets up there. I thought it was just for bales. So I can do pallets, bales, probably bags and seeds. And I could put all kinds of stuff up there. Be really fun. Did not know that. Cool. All right, this guy's done. <clears throat> That's cool. Uh, now I don't see anything, says Jim. What cow? You didn't see it? Okay, so I am losing it. I like Whiskey Sierra's trucks, but they're scaled a bit larger. You think? <laughs> they are quite uh, They are quite large. They are nice, though. Pretty nice detail. Just don't open the hood. So that's probably going to do it, chat. I'm going to go run this back to the truck stop. And uh, probably hang out at the truck stop, get myself a snack, and that's probably going to be it for tonight. Christian Bales. See, I see what you did there. But I think the highlight of tonight's stream is that beautiful, uh, that beautiful lawn care I did. That is just gorgeous. Really nice. Really nice. Interior is a little rough, too. I'm not a big fan of the interior. That looks uh, like something out of Minecraft or something. But uh, exterior is nice. So we'll only look at the exterior from now on.
call the police. My bad. They put that cone there so I wouldn't run over their sign. <clears throat> there we go. And that is all she wrote right there. That's all she wrote. I'll drive home. Nothing going on at the truck stop, and I don't want to get yelled at for running over the cone. So we'll just bring this back to the house, and that'll be it for the night. <laughs> uh, don't bash it. He may get his feelings hurt and delete it. Oh, wait, that's what another mo- Hey! Are your pigs still running loose? I haven't seen any running loose. Just floating cows tonight. <laughs> you killed a Schneider kid. Hey. Good night, Frosty. See you later, Brian. Favorite Culver's concrete mixers. Well, tonight I uh, I had the uh, vanilla ice cream with chocolate syrup and brownie bites or brownie chunks mixed in, and then I had, of course, a double cheeseburger with. I did chili. Fr I never do chili fries, but I did chili fries for a change. Eh, I kind of wish I didn't. It wasn't as good as I was hoping. Yeah, it wasn't really that good. So, I planted three fields tonight. Not bad. I think the only field that doesn't have a crop in it is that big one back there. Because I don't know what I want to put in it. I kind of want to put sorghum in it. And that'll be a long time before that happens. I think we did a crap load of multitasking tonight. Got a lot of different type of little jobs done. All kinds of chores. It will be time to fast forward time, which we can uh, go ahead and do to end the stream, just so you can see what our crops look like. So we're gonna go into the month of October. And we'll watch the uh, the crops germinate. Ooh, a little bit of rain to help. Very nice. Let it rain. Oh, yeah. And we are almost into October. All right, the rain's gone. It's about midnight, and now it's October. We sold 2,600 animals. Oh, we sold... What the heck did we sell? We must have had some overcrowding. Holy moly. Hmm. All right, sun should be popping up here. Oh, beautiful. Josh, beautiful. We're going to stop it right at 9 a.m. October at 9 a.m. And there's uh, our canola. So first stage of growth. And there's those pesky weeds. But that's fine. You can spray or you can use the weeder attachment, which we have. Uh, and it won't hurt the crops. Uh, all tires and tracks are good in this growth stage. Okay, looks good to me. 65% yield. That'll jump back up once we uh, kill the weeds. I'll probably use this weed kill or uh, weed weeder. Gosh, can't talk. Probably use this weeder on this field next time. Looks it looks very nice though. You think I sold pigs? My TV gave up on the stream, but my phone is still going strong. Nice. Hey Frosty, can we go now? Good night, Wolf Shade, Scooty Pooty. Have a good one, John McKinley. Peace out. What kind of grass have you been mowing? Says Jim. Wouldn't you like to know? Manure is not producing. That's because my pigs aren't healthy. They might be starving now. But we'll look at all that next time. I'm getting too excited. 
Getting too excited, guys. I got lots of stuff to harvest. Look at all this. Oh, baby. Soybean, soybean, soybean. And uh, I don't own that field. So we got three soybean fields. And that's a grass field, I think. Right? The heck crop is that? Oh no, that's my corn field. Ooh, we have corn and soybean. So lots of harvest in next like next uh, episode of this series. It's gonna be nice. Let me check my grass. All right, it's got one more month to go. It's looking fresh, clean, and delicious. I want to eat some of it right now. Mm, yeah. Cotton. One more month to go on cotton. Mm -hmm. Then we'll be renting the big old cotton harvester. Uh, this is wheat. That's also got weeds in it, but we'll take care of that. Why am I going around this? Let's uh, fly. There we go. Yeah, so that's my wheat field. This is our massive grass field that's almost too big. This was the big potato field that hasn't been touched except uh, lime. So it'll be, we'll do something with that. Or maybe, no. Uh, cotton's ready to harvest there, but we don't own that field. That's some other farmer's field. Beginning of the show, this is the barley we planted. It'll have weeds that need killed. Soybeans ready to harvest next time. Oh, yeah. Uh, canola that we planted tonight. And that's all our fields that we own that are uh, growing anyway. The rest are harvested. Soybean, all this corn's going to be stored for our pigs. That's going to be all base food. So I'll probably start the stream with uh, corn next time. Because our pigs are starving on base food. Uh, look at their health. Went down to zero. That's why we didn't get... Okay, so I just learned something tonight. Even if you have straw bedding... Even if you have straw bedding, your pigs will not produce manure if their health is at zero because it barely produced anything. So I think that does play an effect for manure. Man, I got a lot of chickens. Yeah, that's what was sold. Chickens were sold. 37 to... I don't know what else was sold. That's it. I'm not blabbing. I'm sorry. I'm blabbing and blabbing and blabbing and blabbing. Ten, ten, ten. Thank you, Johnny. Farm Sim 22 is released November 2021st. We're going to get 24 this year or 25. I think it's going to be 25. I think 25 will be our next Farm Sim if I had to guess. What do you think, chat? I think 25? Yeah. Yeah. Richard Thomas, peace out. Elizabeth Sturdy. Get your butt to bed. Looks like you need the chemical mod for spraying that field. You better watch your mouth, Bronchima. Smack your right nipple off, and I'll sell it on eBay for $4. And Dewan Baker will buy it. And then he will resell it for $7. Good night, Zach Ryan. All right, I'm out of here, chat. Thank you for the massive reactions. Uh, very good. We haven't had that many in a long time. Appreciate the super chat, super stickers, and eight new members tonight. Thank you very much for that as well. I hope I said thank you to everybody. I think I did. I know I did. I did a pretty good job at saying thank you tonight. I, I, I didn't miss Kevin Flores' super chats. Usually I forget them or miss them. Hatch! Love the series so far. Have a great night, Frosting Chat. Hope you're doing well, Hatch. Nice to see you in the chat. Thank you very much for saying hello. I wasn't sure if you were still around or not. Nice to see you say hello. Tomorrow, American Truck Simulator. I'm checking out that new W900 DLC accessories pack. 
So you might see some other tier three members driving along. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Hopefully all the mods will work. So that's the plan. We'll be uh, starting in Oklahoma and leaving Oklahoma. And I ain't going back to Oklahoma if everything goes as planned and goes nicely. Eric Bercy, Matt, uh, Frank Jones, Duan, everybody have a great night. Catch you on the next one. It's a Big Rig Frost game and signing off. Goodbye. See you later.